Shalom. All right. We're in JMS Memphis camp. All right. We back out here again to prophesy the downfall of this wicked kingdom. America, aka Babylon the Great. All right. But first and foremost, we're going to turn to the east. Chicago say a whole lot day, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, so called Christmas, man. A brother already know what to get, man. You know, bring that out, Jeremiah 10, man, because this is another day, man, that, that's that's uh, uh, just a tradition for our people to just follow, man. It's, it's nothing about Christmas in the in the scriptures, man. You know, the scriptures go against this, man. All right, time. Yeah. It's a Jeremiah 10 and 1. Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Thus saith the Lord, Learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. Right, you're not supposed to learn the way of the heathen, man, because this is a heathen custom, man. This is not a uh, high holy day that, that, that uh, Israel is supposed to uh, take part in, man. All right? This is, this is not one of our high holy days right here, man. This is just another pagan holiday that our people are, are caught up in from following tradition, man. You know, I, their, their parents did it, their grandparents did it, you know, and they just continue on, pass it on down the line, man. You even have Jake that'll say they doing it for the kids, but not knowing what, what, what this uh, uh, day goes back to, man, you know? Jeremiah 10 and 3, for the customs of the people are vain, for one cut of a tree out of the forest, the work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. They decked it with silver and with gold, and they fastened it with nails and with hammers that it moved not. Hey, what, what is that? That's your modern day Christmas tree, man. That uh, uh, all type of people right now got in their houses right now as we speak, man, with gifts under it. You know, you, you got it decked out with the with the silver, the gold, the, the ornaments. You got the uh, the cross on the top. You know, that, that's what the scripture just broke down, man. Read it again, bro. This is Jeremiah 10 and, 10 and 4. They decked it with silver and with gold, and they fastened it with nails and with hammers, and it moved not. Jeremiah 10 and 3. For the customs of the people are vain. For one cut of a tree out of the forest, the work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. Right, so that's what these people are doing, man. They cut down those trees, man, putting them in the houses, and, and basically worshiping them. And that goes back to uh, that worship of uh, Nimrod's penis, man, that Christmas tree. So you don't, you don't know what you're worshiping, man. You know, you don't know what, what you're into, man, and these, with these so called uh, uh, holidays, man. You know, and you look around the city here in Memphis, man, it's it's dead, man. Nothing out here. Everybody at the house, man, under the Christmas tree, man. Like the uh, uh, apostle was just, uh, he did a video, and you know, he got those songs on Christmas tree over there. Man, he worship this stuff, man. You know, these people worship these these uh, trees and these, you know, and these different uh, uh, days, man, the way they esteem. You know, matter of fact, what is Scripture that it said, uh, uh, basically, you're gonna esteem one day over another. Get that, bro. Got it. Okay. Uh, in Jeremiah 4 22, for my people is foolish, they have not known me. They are silent children, they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. Yeah, to do good, they have no knowledge, man. Our people don't know the first thing about serving uh, uh, the power of Yahweh by Shemal Shah. You know, what do they do? They follow behind the heathen. They, they follow behind, you know, uh, uh, the, the, the tradition and vain philosophies of, of the heathens, man. You know, and we reading that in, uh, in Judges as we speak, man. <laughs> hey, the Lord set, set us up for that, man. 
to the to uh uh what did he do? He left those Philistines in the land. He left the heathens in the in the in the land to prove us, man. You know? Hey, ultimately, man, to, to make sure, hey, alright, you say you really about me, you believe in me, you're gonna follow my ways, well prove it then, man. Right. Okay? And then what what ultimately happened? Our people, we we hey, brother just read it, man. They foolish, man. They don't know the Lord. So they follow behind these these uh heathens, man. Uh, and what that's doing is leading into your death, man. You know? You got that uh Romans. This is Romans 14 and 5. <coughs> it said one man esteemeth one day above another, and another esteemeth every day of life. Let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't esteem a day above another, man. Hey, the Lord, the Lord has set up high holy days for us. All right, this ain't one of them, man. Mm -hmm. This this so-called Christmas, man, ain't one of those days, man. We don't put this day at, at, at any higher than any other day, man. The sun come out today, the weather feel nice, you know. It's just another day, man. Jake went to work today, man. I ain't give a shit about this, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm out here doing the work again, man. But yeah, you know, doing the work of y'all by Shemal Shah, the real work, you know? Yeah. This the book of Sawak. 33 and 7. Why do one day and sell another when it's all the light of every day in a year is of, a, is of the sun? We just get to what? This is what? 33 and 7. Why do one day and sell another when it's all the light of every day in a year is of the sun? Hey, that was that was it. That's the one I was thinking of. Why the one day and sell another, man? You know what I'm saying? The Lord, the Lord created every day. It, you know, it is what it is. Some days it may rain, it may snow, it may get cold. But hey, it, it's just another day. You know? It said, by the knowledge of the Lord, there were distinguished, and he altered the seasons and feasts. Some of them, and he made high days and hollow them. Ah, holy days, man. But this ain't one of those days right here, man. This a made up, uh, uh, a wicked so-called holiday, man. A whole lie day, man. He <laughs> said some of them that he made high days and hollow them, and some of them that he made ordinary days. Yeah, or, hey, this an ordinary day right here, man. Yeah. Ordinary day right here, man. Nothing special about it, man. We don't, hey, nothing special about so-called Christmas, man. Just another day, you know? But hey, you can't tell Jake that. Look look around, man, this place, hey. You'll think, you'll think it's a, the pandemic gonna hit again, man. You'll think the uh, corona just hit again out here, man. The old Marion out here, man. You know? The way, that, way, way these streets is empty. Tumbleweed coming down uh, 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 Bill Street. You know, that's because everybody is what? Out at home celebrating, watching the games, drinking eggnog, okay, opening Christmas gifts, and, and, and uh, you know, all into this, this wicked ass. Yeah. Stockings and shit. Yep. Yeah. Listen to that uh, Temptation Silent Night. Right. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Repeat the shit. Mm hmm. Oh, I got a quick one. This is uh, Titus 1 and 14. Read up. Read up. Uh, this is Titus 1 and 14. I started 13. It said, This witness is true. Wherefore, rebuke them sharply, that they may be sound in the faith, not giving heed to Jew Jewish fables and commandments of men that turn from the truth. That commandments of men. Like, because this was a commandment of man to celebrate, you know, this wicked occasion. You know, going all the way back to uh, ancient. Babylon with Nimrod oh, yeah, and Semiramis. You go into the history and the origin of these of these high holy days. This is the <laughs> decree or the commandment of man. Going back to what the brother said, when we received the high holy days, Moses received that directly from Yahweh by Shemal Shah. What days to reference, you know? But this here is the commandments of men. All of them got uh, uh, Christmas, Thanksgiving, yep. Easter, all right, Valentine's Day, Mother's Day. All those are commandments of men. Right? Yeah, birthday, it has nothing to do, you know, with reverencing your how about shim how shot because all our how holy days had a purpose, man. You see? You got it. No, get the get the uh we'll get some more.
No, that was it on there. Yeah, get that. This is Ambrose 5. Start at 20. This is Ambrose 5 and 20. Shall not the day of the Lord be darkness in thy light, even very dark and no brightness in it. I hate and I despise your feast days, and I will not smell in your solemn assemblies. Yeah, Lord, I hate and despise these days, man. That's why, uh, uh, like Apostle Bar was going into, man, you have so many of these damn Christmas trees that catch on fire, you know? So many jakes, man, get put to death on these so-called holidays, man, okay? And Lord is despising that, man, especially you Israelites, man, that's caught up in that, who really believe that, you know, you, you, you get into the spirit of it, man, you know? You go all out, man. Jake go broke behind these days, man. Can't even pay your fucking bills. Here it is, a new year coming in, and you 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 broke because you done uh, uh, took everything you got to go buy little Jimmy a, a, a PS5, man. You know what I'm saying? Now you can't pay your bills. What sense that make, man? That's the foolishness, like the brother was saying uh, in, in, uh, uh, in the scripture in Jeremiah, man. Our people are foolish, man. They don't they don't know the Lord, man. You don't do no stupid shit like that, man. All right? <laughs> Our people are through, man, but it, it, that great reset has to be uh, 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 set up in the earth, man. How was I got to come back and restore order in the earth, man? You know, because right now, man, we 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 being ran by by imbecile, man. All right, the lowest of the low. You got a uh, a ninety year old Edomite man in there that don't know uh, his left hand from his right, man. All right, and he and he and he's in control, but. Actually, not these elites are, yeah. but this is who this is who uh, uh, set up to run the, you know what I'm saying, so-called U.S. of A. You know. Oh, got it, man. Yeah. All right. All right. This is the Book of Sirach, chapter 43, verse seven. It says, "I started at six. It says he made the moon also to serve in her season for a declaration of times and a sign of the world." From the moon is the sign of feast, a light that decreases in her perfection. The month is called after her name, increasing, increasing wonderfully in her changing, being the instrument of the armies above, shining in the firmament of heaven. And I brought that out because you understand we live in an anti-Messiah society. So they do everything opposite according to the scripture because this whole day of Christmas is based on the sun. All right, the winter solstice, you know? This is what they call the birth of the sun, all right? That's why they go into and try to mix it with the birth of Yahweh Shah, the Messiah, right. but they're talking about the birth of the actual sun, you see? But we celebrated High Holy Days based off the moon. The moon determined the months, the Sabbath days, all this based off the moon. The feast, the High Holy Days, all this based off the moon. A lot of this man's wicked ho uh, holy days is based off the sun, man, which is the complete opposite, all right, of how you how by Shema was shot set up those ordinances, man. Yeah. Uh, this is uh, Deuteronomy chapter 12, verse 4. Ye shall not do so unto the Lord your power, but unto the place which the Lord your power shall choose out of all your tribes to put his name there, even unto the habitation you shall seek, and thither there shall come. And it's something more better in the uh, in the Tito. It's uh, Deuteronomy chapter 12, verse uh, 4 in the NLT. Do not worship the Lord your power in the ways these pagan people worship the power. Ooh. Ooh. Rather, <laughs> rather, you must seek the Lord your power at the place of worship. He himself will choose from among our tribe the place where his name will be honored. Oh, in a man. He just said, read it again. I do not worship. This is Deuteronomy chapter 12, verse 4. Do not worship the Lord your power in the ways these pagan people worship their gods. In the way these pagan people worship their gods, man. Hey, because the Lord separated us from these other people, man. Uh, uh, Deuteronomy 7 and 6, man, we ain't we ain't nothing like these people, man. We different, all right? The uh, Lord, we, we're a special people unto the Lord. But, hey, what did what Israel always want to do, man? They want, always wanted to have a king, always wanted to follow behind these heathens and their gods, man. You know, 
That's always been our downfall, man. You know, that, that idolatry for uh, uh, worshiping other gods, man. Okay? But hey, ultimately, man, we got we got a power, man. We don't need to worship no fucking. We don't need to worship no fucking uh uh Caesar Bojia, man, no uh Jesus Christ, man, JC, you know? Any of these damn uh pagan ass guys, man. But hey, that's what our people do. They do that, man, and it's into the it's into their demise, man. You know? Jake out here wearing uh uh antlers on his head, man. Hey, if I may add too, the people they want an image. That's why they set up these idols because they trying to form God in their own liking. Right. You know what I'm saying? They don't want to stick to the scriptures. They want to just stick to their own mind, which the Lord tell you that your own mind is desperately wicked. wicked. Yep. You know? And then the Lord says, surely he'll power that hide of himself. So, but he's not going to show himself unto those that worship <coughs> these idols, man. Only to the ones that's in the book, that's reading, that's studying. All right? I'm chosen, man. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. This is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14, starting at 8. But that which is made with hand is cursed, as well it as he that made it. He because he because he made it, and it because being corrupt, corruptible, it was called God. <coughs> For the ungodly and his ungod, ungodless are both alike hateful unto the most high. Gun, this is uh wisdom Solomon 14 and 8. But that which he is made with hands is cursed as well as it. Right. And that which is made with hands is cursed as well as it, man. So that thing is cursed. All these false idols, these images, that, those are curses, man. You know, people got the cross in their uh, their house. That, that's a curse, man. No. As well as it, as he that made it. He because he made it, and it because being corruptible is called God. But right, they call it the true God right there, man. Like they say to him, man. Yeah. You know? Go ahead. Verse 9. For the ungodly and his ungodliness are both alike, hateful unto the most high. Read that again. For the ungodly and his ungodliness are both alike, hateful unto the most high. Read on the time. For the ungodly For the and ungodly and his ungodliness, right in his ungodliness, go ahead. Are both alike hateful unto the Most High. Right, they both alike, man. Cause you got the Christians say hate the sin but not the sin. Yeah. You know, they both are hateful unto the Most High, man. You see, and the Lord said He angry with the wicked every day, man. And this whole society is fucking corrupt right here, man. That's right, bro. A number of wickedness out here, man. Yeah. You know, no but abominations, man. And these high holy, high hell days, you know. They abomination. The Lord hate these days, man. But look at Jake. Jake all into it. And, and, and on you going on social media, Jake even said he don't feel like Christmas. But what is Jake trying to do? Trying to type tap um, back in that spirit though. Yeah. Jake wanna be in that uh, Christmas spirit yeah, though. Father. So Jake know what they doing this wrong, man. You see? Jake know what they doing this wrong. They still want to tap on um, back in their uh, in their uh, in their in that spirit though, man. But guess what? Hey, get Isaiah 24. It said the most I would take uh, the mouth away uh, for the land, man. Because that's exactly what the Lord is doing. Take away the mouth from the society, man. You know, people not in the Christian spirit like that. Hell no. You know? <laughs> Keep going, you know. Verse 10. For that which is made shall be punished together with him that made it. Yep. Therefore, even upon the idols of the Gentiles shall there be a visitation. Because in the creators of the Most High, I mean, it's like in the creature of the Most High, they are become an abomination mm -hmm. and stumbling blocks to the souls of men and a snare to the feet of the unwise. Right, it's a stumbling block unto Jake. Just like we came out of uh, Egypt, what Jake want to do? Make a golden calf? Yeah, yeah. You see? Make an image, man. Stumbling blocks, man. Yeah. You see? Keep going. For the devising of idols was the beginning of spiritual fornication. Right, spiritual fornication, man. And Jake out here doing it willfully, man. You know? Jake is all into this um, wickedness, man. Celebrating these false hol holidays and, and so on, man. Go ahead. And the invention of them cor 
uh, an invention of them, the corruption of life. Right, the corruption of life, man. Cause Jay don't know what they worshiping, but they want to worship anyway, man. The claim they're doing for the kids, they're doing yeah. this for that and that. Hey, you go enough, man. You see? Oh, but kid, you and your whole family, man, including the kids. Giving them everything they want, man. They belong to East I eat them. We don't even own our kids, man. At the end of the day, man, these ain't our, you know. They are sheeples. <laughs> yeah. they, they're pretty much what they are, sheeples. Don't watch that matrix. Right. Ain't gonna spoil it. This morning. Right, yep. Go ahead. Verse 13, for neither were they from the beginning, neither shall they be forever. Right, neither should they, um, read that part again. Verse 13, for neither were they from the beginning, Neither should they be forever. Right, they're not gonna be um, forever, man. It said the gods of the, uh, uh, of the nations are idols, man. Uh -huh. You know, and, um, but the whole Isaiah 19, starting one. Cause all these false gods about to come to an end, man, real soon. Yeah. Verse 14, for by the vain glory of men, they enter into the world, and therefore shall they come shortly to an end. Right, come shortly to an end, man. All these false gods, these false um, religions, false um, philosophies, Isaiah 19, starting one. This is Isaiah 19 and one. The burden of Egypt, behold, the Lord rideth upon a swift cloud and shall come into Egypt, and the idols of Egypt shall be moved in his presence. Right, the idols of Egypt shall be moved in his presence when he come back into Egypt, man. And this is just speaking of what? Babylon the Great, man. You see? Get on Revelation 11, 8 real quick, man. Okay, the Lord said you come on a swift cloud, and that swift cloud is what? Chariots, man. This is Revelations chapter 11 and 8. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city. And that great city is America. Make America right. great again, right? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Which spiritually is called Sodom in Egypt. Right, which is spiritually called Sodom in Egypt, man. You got a lot of Sodomites out here, Decepticons walking the streets in Egypt, meaning bondage. The scripture said we are yet this day in our captivity, man. Right. And nothing new under the sun. You see? The, the things that have been uh, been of old is now, man. We in Memphis right now. We got the pyramid right across there. So it ain't nothing new, man. Finish, finish it now, man. Uh, spiritually called Sodom in Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. And our Lord being crossed out to this day. Our people don't know who the true God is, the true Messiah is. That's the thing is this gay ass nigga, man. But it's not. Our true power is to have a smart shot, man. You know? A lot of people don't realize that, man. Because they want to stay in, in, in Egypt, man. But it's good to say, flee out the midst of Babylon, man. Leave this mindset, man. The wise in the park, man, because this is not our risk. A lot of people want to stay here so bad, man. That's why they're going to be destroyed, man. Keep going. Go back to Isaiah 19. Y'all got you back to This is Isaiah 19, verse 2. Read one again. This is Isaiah 19 and 1. The burden of Egypt, you behold. Got fucking horse with a Christmas hat on. Man, it's fucking on, finished, man. man. Even the animals are suffering, man. Yeah. Don't wave over yeah, here, yeah, man. All you eat them is going to be destroyed, man. That's, That's right. right. Every last one of y'all, man. Go ahead. The Lord rideth upon that swift cloud and shall come into Egypt and the idols of Egypt shall be moved in his presence. Right, the idols of Egypt should be moved in his presence, man. All these false gods, Allah, Buddha, Jesus, you know? All these false gods gonna be taken down, man. And I can't wait until that day, man. Go ahead. And the heart of Egypt shall melt in the midst of it. Right, the heart of Egypt shall melt in the, uh, uh, in the midst of it, man. You see? Go ahead. And I will say Egyptians against Egyptians, and they shall fight everyone against his brother, and everyone against his neighbor, city against city, kingdom against kingdom. And that's the wars and rumors of wars that we're hearing now. Russia, you know, Master P, the brother of Taj Mahal Kahlo. Uh, he, he, yeah. Hey, he about to go down. World War III is not. My people don't, don't know what, what the hell going on, yeah. man. Jake no. worried about right. Jake worried about uh, LeBron and Durant tonight, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they ain't even playing tonight. 
Oh, <laughs> shit. That ain't that going to fuck the aim. They just ruined my Christmas, brother. <laughs> hey, but hey, real, hey, man, our people don't know what the hell going on, though, man. You got all these things, man, going on in the earth, man. and Jake lost, man. Jake out here, man, you know what I'm saying? It's just out of it, man. Don't know what's going on. That's why, hey, the scriptures say the day of the Lord going to come as a thief in the night. Because what? These people ain't looking for it. Jake looking everywhere else. What's the worst hit, man, to come, man? The one you don't see coming, man. The blind side, man. That's what our people are about to get hit with, man. And it's right there in your face that the devil should come down having great wrath, man. Yeah. Hey, this is in mainstream media now, man. But people ain't taking heed. You know? They worry about Christmas shopping, man. So yeah. Shopping. Yeah. Spending a bag and shit, man. <laughs> you know? Come on now. You got something? Yeah. I got it. Go ahead. Uh, this is Ecclesiastes 10 and 6. Uh, yeah. Folly is set in great dignity in the rich city low place. Hey, folly is set in great dignity. Hey, look at the word folly too. Oh, I got you. Oh, that's big. Oh, yeah, folly, la, la, la. Yep. Folly, la, la, la. Hey, that's big gone, though, man. Hey, that, that shit ain't. Jake ain't in that spirit no more, man, or folly. It's, it's too hard out here now, man. Everything hard. You got you got uh, 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 the inflation. And just wait, man. Esau got a real Christmas gift for you niggas, man. It's called, it's called Omarion, man. Omarion. <laughs> he coming right around the corner in this new year, man. Hey, O-Micro. O-Micro. O-Micro, man. Yeah, he gonna sing that shit to you niggas, man. You know? <laughs> And we and he ain't playing either. Like what Pinky say, he ain't, I ain't playing, dude. Wait till he hit you. Wait till he hit you with this, man. He telling you, man. They telling you what they're about to do when the New Year roll around, man. And y'all think he playing though. Just wait till this New Year roll around and see what happens, man. Who you don't play like that? Who you man. don't play like that, man? You think you think he start playing? Just wait. Get wait till two, uh, uh, 2022, man. And see and see what's going down out here. These streets gonna be like this, but it's gonna be because it be because it's another goddamn shutdown, man. If your black ass ain't got that uh, jabbed up, you ain't gonna be able to come out the house, nigga. Yeah. You ain't gonna be able to go to work. You ain't gonna be able to do shit, man. That's what's coming, man. Yeah, 2020, 2.0, man. 2022, man. Make up one hell of a year. Lord willing, if you deliver, nigga, man. Lord willing, all hell break loose. Lord willing, the, the nigga woman can't get her hair done no more. Put on big ass eyelashes. <laughs> You know, the umbrellas, none of this shit, man. You stand in lines for joints. Hey, Lord willing, this shit in, man. That's right. Look how far they got definition of bottle. This is probably in the blue letter Bible. It means silliness. Silliness, man. Consecrately and collectively. I got some more definition. This is finally in the Oxford American Dictionary. Foolishness, lack of good sense. Lack of good sense, like Ooh. the nigga mm. walking down the street with, um, with the antlers on the, 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 yeah. the big ass red nose, man. Foolishness, man, right? Silliness, idiocy, recklessly, prudence, lack of foresight. Lack, lack of foresight, and our people do lack foresight. No one had a vision to see prophecy, man. You know, they can't see clearly, man. Knowing that, that, that this is the end. Hey, get Luke 12, 56, uh, Proverbs 1 and 20. You know? Yep. It's the book of Sirach, chapter 18, verse 20. It says, before judgment, examine thyself, and in the day of visitation, thou shalt find mercy. Wait, in the day of visitation, you should find mercy if you, if you examine yourself, man. I, I, and we supposed to be examining ourselves daily, man. Being a repentant mindset daily, man. It said before judgment, examine yourself, and the day of judgment is coming. You know? The Lord said he should judge the world by, by his righteousness, man. Yeah. But you people not repenting, you know? They're going back to their folly. This society is just lazy. Father, because it's a lack of having good sense. Because mm -hmm. here it is, you got people steady getting the juice. 
you stand against sick. Yep. You know? Be afraid. Sure. Yeah, it don't make sense. It don't stop you from getting it. It don't stop you from getting sick. It don't stop you from dying. All right? You just a regular nigga. Yep. You still the same person. Still the same just nigga. with nanotechnology in you now. You know? You got women out here trying to get purses. You got here the Birkin bag, $30,000. All right? But this bitch ain't even got $30,000 car. You know? That's the mind, uh, uh, that's a lack of sense, man. Look how niggas maneuvering in the earth, man. Niggas start rap beef with niggas two streets over, man. Right. This, You know where his mama stay, he know where your mama stay. Right. You know? Yeah. Niggas is extremely dumb, man. Our people, especially Jake, you look how dumb down they are. This is folly held in great dignity. You see, right. this social media, all it did was expose the folly that's in the earth. So, yeah, now you see how people think, you know? Yep. And it's, it's a hell of a mindset that's in the earth. But see, it's exalted, you know? Because what? Folly gets millions of views and likes and yeah. goes viral. You know, some damn folly, some type of dance. Yep. All right? The great that, challenge. Well, bring that, that, that one up. Yeah, this is This going to stop the folly, all right? Yep. Hey, this the, this, the, this the Russia challenge. Right. <laughs> you see? They gonna see which one gonna get here first. Right. All right? This the challenge that these these, these other nations from the play. Yep. China and Russia finna see what milk can get to America first, man. That's right. All right? Uh. See all that folly gonna stop when them buttons get hit, man. Mm -hmm. All right? And a lot of you dumb people gonna be in these cities looking up at them missiles like wild coyote, man. Yep. Yo, all faces turned to all um, blackness. Yep, you got it, bro. You know? I got I got one. This is uh this is first Corinthians 13 and 11. It says, when I was a child, I spake as a child, I understood as a child, I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. Right, and then how 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 hell days they hey, they still fucking childish, man. Yeah. 50 years old, still dressed as as elf. Santa Claus, weapon presses and shit. I, these niggas are still fucking childish, man. Girl, no. Come on, man. No, come on, man. It don't make sense, man. So these people, it's still childish as hell, man. Man, Christmas, this shit childish, bro. Don't dress up as uh, Halloween and so, so on, man. Childish. Hey, hey, I, I was on Instagram, man. I looked at a couple, man. They got matching pajamas and shit. Yeah, they do that uh, shit, man. Uh, Steph Curry and them are doing that shit, man. On an open relationship, though. Right, yeah, he, man. That's a whole nother subject, man. Jake ain't Jake ain't got no control over his woman, man. That's why they celebrate the holiday, because the woman. It is what it is. Yeah, get that power for us. Come on, go ahead. You got something for mine? Oh, yeah. Go ahead. This is Ezekiel chapter 21, verse 9. <laughs> so the man prophesied and say, Thus said the Lord, say, a sword, a sword is sharpened, and also furbished. It is sharpened to make sword slaughter. It is furbished that it may glitter. Should we then make mirth? Wait, should we then make mirth? Mm. This is the time to be rejoicing. <laughs> no, all hell about to break loose. Famine is coming. Yeah, Pestilence, death, here. destruction is coming to this place. <laughs> this is the time That's to make man. mirth. <laughs> Being holiday spirits and shit, man. Right. No. Hey, the sword is coming. What is this for? Esau eat him. What a whole uh, Psalm 17. Uh, you know? What you got up? Uh, 2 Peter. Go, get that. I know. Go ahead. Keep going, Demite. Uh, <laughs> All right. Let's see. 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 And it is furbished to give it unto the hands of the slayer. The hands of the slayer is Esau, man. They said the devil should come down and have great, great wealth. Yeah, Look at Revelation 12 and 12. Just you see, just like you shot him the pencil. What, what you gonna do with that pencil? You gonna use that motherfucker, man. That's right, bro. So, hey, Esau being sharpened now, man. You know? And, and Sleeper Joe already said his patience one and then. You know? So, hey, it about to go down, man. Keep going, Verse 12. Cry and howl, son of man, for it shall be upon my people. Yep. 
it shall be upon all the priests of Israel, terrors by reason of the sword shall be upon my people, smite there before upon thy thigh. Wait, this say should be upon my people. Our people too. The Israelites from Judah all the way down to Issachar, man. That scripture say in the book of Job, the tables shall make you afraid on every side, man. <coughs> this is Proverbs 1 and 20. Wisdom cries without. She uttered her voice in the streets. Man, this is wisdom right now, man. Right. You see? Wisdom uttered her voice in the streets right now through the most high prophets, the servants, man. But they ain't taking heed to the wisdom. They think wisdom in the holy houses. You know, the pork child pastor, uh, hey, hey, telling you to uh, have a good Christmas here, man. Huh? What is that? They are dumb dogs. They ain't telling you what's about to come. That family's about to come. You're not be going to be able to eat in, uh, in a week or so. You're not protected by Yahweh's Mashiach. You know? Hey, the church I used to go to, man, they got a big ass goddamn Christmas tree right in the church. Man. I'm talking about big as hell, bro. You know what I'm saying? So they going right along with the, you know, with, 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 with Esau program, man. These churches ain't going to tell you the truth, man. Yeah, hey, these churches don't bring out Jeremiah 10 or 2, man. Yeah, man. Then you know that Christmas is, is condemned in the Bible, man. The Lord didn't celebrate no fucking Christmas, man. He didn't tell us to put up Christmas trees in, in, in our houses, man. So you people is off, man. And Christianity is fucking done. People are living, uh, it's leaving. The, uh, their religion, man. And the black woman leaving that uh, do witchcraft, man. And what she was to say, they are already turned aside after saying anyway, man. So let's go ahead. Back in Proverbs chapter 1. Back in Proverbs chapter 1 and 21. She cried in the chief places of concourse, in the openings of the gates. In the city she uttered her words, saying, How long, ye simple ones? Will you love simplicity? Right, how long is it simple when you love know simplicity, man? Going to fucking folly. Yep. How long how long you simple ones when you love folly, man? Indulging in folly, man. But hey, hey, folly is coming to an end, man. What the whole Isaiah 24? Yeah, 24. Finishing off. And it says, and the scorners delight in their scorning, and the fools hate knowledge. Hey, fools hate knowledge. Jump up to verse 7 real quick. Come on, jumping up to verse 7. It says, the fear of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, is the beginning of knowledge. Right, but people hate knowledge. They hate fearing the Lord, and they don't want to fear the Lord, man. Why? Because the God of this world have blinded the minds of these niggas, man. You know? They think it's okay to do this and that, to live your best life, commit sin and wickedness, you know? All them day of the year. Because what? They believe in uh, Sedgwick Bulger, man. Yeah. Because the Christian church tell you that he he love, you know? All you got to do is repent and come back on to him, man. You'll be a nigga, a, a slut throughout the whole week, and, and come Wednesday, you clean, you know, for, for two hours, you know? You so-called uh, 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 holy for two hours, man. Then after those two hours expire, you, you back being uh, the demon who you was. Yeah. Hey, uh, if I may add, the biggest simplicity is they say that the Lord was born on Christmas. Yeah. There's no way in the scripture that the Lord was born on Christmas, man. The dead of the winter, man. It's oh, cold, cold, as hell. As hell. cold as hell. <laughs> Ought to put up a Christmas tree for the Lord. You know what I'm saying? That ain't in the scripture. Yeah. Yeah. Either my, I ain't saying either my. Happy birthday, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> man, the Lord's going to kill you, man. Uh, you know. And Santa ain't nothing but Satan. Yeah, Satan. Satanism deals with sexual magic, all right? And the highest form of sexual magic is through the anus of a little boy, all right? So all that is is nothing but Satan and ritual. See, he saw Edom, he just watered down, all right, the Satan and rituals that he does in secret. And he just made it, he just commercialized it. Right. Why do you think the main color of Christmas is red? That's because of all the blood sacrifice that go on. You know, they will actually put blood around their doorposts, all right? When you go back to Saturnalia, when you go back to Yule, which they will worship from the 17th of December to the 25th, all right, those eight days. And then you got people that wrap 
their red wrapping around their doorposts. Well, the, the least they actually do real blood around their doorposts from the sacrifice. So they just got you doing a watered down version ritual of what they do for real, man. Yeah, I don't yeah. Knock yep. But you're going to get the same judgment, though. Right. You know? Hey, don't hand yeah. join the hand. Yeah, you're going to get the same exact judgment. Yeah. You know? Just like if Jake took a real gun and aimed at the police. He'll get blasted down. Well, if you take a fake gun and aim at the police, right. you still gonna get blasted down. Yep. You know, and that's how the most high gonna judge. Right, when it bro. comes to judging for these wicked rituals that our people into, man. Yeah, bro. Okay. So this is back in Proverbs 1 and 7. The fear of the Lord, Yahweh by Shimmy Hawa Shai, is the beginning of knowledge. But fools despise wisdom <laughs> and instructions. Right, that despises, man, because uh, the block will say, uh, Sabbath 19, that the false step to be a second of the Lord is real. Yep. You know, then love. Love comes second, man. He wants to fear first, but these people don't fear the Lord, man. And they don't want to fear the Lord, man. They want to do their own, their own thing, man. Their own abominations. You know? Go ahead. It's a rock 2 and 16, started 15. They that fear the Lord will not disobey his word, and they that love him will keep his ways. And they that love the Lord will keep his ways, man. What's the Lord's ways? His law of test commandments. You know? But these people don't fear the Lord. Yeah. They that fear the Lord will seek that which is well pleasing unto him, and they that love him shall be filled with the law. You're going to be filled with the law, man. You see? You really love the Lord. Because what is love? Keeping, Keeping other commandments. commandments. Yep. That is love, man. Action. You know? And love is an action word, too. This first John 2 and 3. And hereby we do know that we know him if we keep his commandments. Mm. And he that saith, I know him, and keeping not his commandment is a liar, hey, and the truth are, is not in him. Hey, you niggas are fucking liars, man. <laughs> all you, uh, <laughs> all you <laughs> niggas out here, you Christians. You, you don't know the Lord. And the truth ain't in you, ain't, ain't in you, man. You are lying. The truth ain't in you. <laughs> you the devil. You the devil. <laughs> you know, hey, go ahead, Mark. What's the point? This is Proverbs chapter sixteen, verse twenty-two. Understanding is a well spring of life unto him that has it, but the instruction of food is folly. It's folly. The instruction of food. It's a what? It's a weak for the dead, weak little for the dead. Little for the dead. Okay, um, yeah, lost the light, though. It's a so what? Right. And hold it, and we did it again tomorrow, too. This is Proverbs chapter 16, verse 22. Understanding is the wellspring of life unto him that has Understanding is a wellspring of life unto him that has it. Right, understanding is a wellspring of life unto them that has it. Everybody don't have understanding, man. You know? What is Christian? Um, with all they get, get yeah, understanding, man. Go ahead. But the instruction of fools is folly. Right, but the instruction of fools is folly. So get that so what? This is a rock, 22 and 11. Weak for the dead. For he have lost the light, weep for the fool, for he wanted understanding. Make little weeping for the dead, for he is at rest, but the life of the fool is worse than death. Right, but the life of the fool is worse than death, man. So basically what they're saying, better for your ass to be, uh, be dead and be in the spirit realm. Yeah. You, you, you have full understanding. You are, you are beating it, man. Yeah. Then a nigga out here acting like an ass, acting like a fool, man. Right. You know, and, and folly. <laughs> that, that's why we ain't praying for you niggas, man. We ain't weeping for you niggas to die. You know, when all hell break loose, that's pray right. for me, man. I ain't in three days. Yeah, man, yeah, fuck yeah, you, fuck man. You. Hey, like, hey, it made me think of, you say, you know, the time, 
He said, Jake, hey man, he dying in the car. He pull up. Oh, yeah, Y'all yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, What are we gonna do for this nigga, man? Right. K up that nigga. And if we do cry, it's gonna be tears of joy. Right. Alright? But well, some of you niggas die, man. There's a few of you niggas gonna be tears of joy. Right. Alright? See you niggas put the death, man. Because your how about shoot mouth shot is fed up, man. That's right, man. Niggas, niggas just play it out, man. Man. How long, how long you niggas gonna sell crack, man? How long you niggas, alright, gonna beef with niggas? in the same city, all right, until it's 30 y'all dead and 60 y'all in prison, man. Right. Hey. How long, Esau's yeah, on top. yeah, Esau still, look at this shit. Look at this shit. yeah, finally, he, look, they this looking at us, crazy, yeah. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it, 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 that's why, I see, he, he bet off dead, man, yep. <laughs> you know, through, man. so the most I tie this cycle, because it's getting worse. It's getting man. worse. The, the 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 breed of niggas is getting worse. Man. The nigga woman, everybody is hauling ass from the nigga woman, man. Yep. You know, cause she's getting worse. It's getting worse, man. It got to be a cutoff point to this shit, man. Esau, this nigga getting worse, man. You know, so it got to be a cutoff point because, like I say, the script say no flesh will make it, man. Yep. This is just a, a, a self-destructing system that this man has in place. Well, people just get worse, man. Yeah, yeah. Hey, this is, uh... <laughs> Let me Do jump through real quick. I, this, this is Surat 10 and, uh, and 2. It says, as the judge of the people is himself, yep. so are his officers. Yep, as the judge of the people is himself, so are his officers. Go ahead. And what manner of man the ruler of the city is, such are all they that dwell therein. Yeah, so you have the elites, all right, which are top level Satanists and witches. And then you have their underlings, under them, the big tech. And then you have the big tech companies that pretty much run the government. And then you have the government that run these simple people, man. So all of them cut from the same cloth, man. All right, what is that, uh, Deuteronomy 32 and 32? All of them cut from the same cloth. All right, that's why it's a heavy energy of deception in the earth, man. Here it is, this is a society where you always got to figure out what somebody is up to, man. Right. You know, somebody being nice to you, you got to figure right. out what the fuck he what, up what to. This nigga motive, yeah, man. especially the nigga woman, like what right. this bitch up to. Right. Yeah, nice. You know, I pay for the dinner, you be like, bitch, what you up to? Right, you trying to <laughs> do it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's like that because the top, that's how Esau, he moves in deception. Yep. This man has everyone worshiping Satan, thinking that they believe in the Bible. Man. You know? 2.2 oh. 2 billion Christians. Pretty much low-level Satanists, knowingly yep. and unknowingly, and they think they believe in the Bible, man. That's deception. All right, go ahead. This is Deuteronomy 32 and 32. Yep. For their vine is of the vine of Sodom yep. and of the fields of Gomorrah. Yeah, this is the vine of Sodom. All right? What sexual lewdness, man? You look at what our people are into, man. You look at Jake, how Jake is just turned out, man. You know, because majority of the uh, of the nigga women is bisexual. It might be eighty percent. Yeah. All right. Then you have the alphabet. You know, you got Jake that just all the way out with it, man. When it comes to the trans thing, you see. But why are they like that? Because they are attached to their vine. All right, of Esau Eden, which is of the vine of Sodom, man. Go ahead. Their grapes are grapes of gall. Yep. Their clusters are bitter. Their clusters are bitter. And grape, what do you do with grapes? You make wine. And wine is likened to what in the scriptures? A philosophy. You see, this is a very bitter philosophy that this man has brought to the earth, man. You know, you look at the cultures, all right, that this man has produced in the earth, nigga culture, thought culture, you see? This, this culture of violence, drill rap, you know? Because when you say the land of the free, land of liberty, they are talking about liberty to be wicked, man. You know? Because when we try to speak righteousness, we don't have liberty. We get strikes. You know? Go ahead. Yeah, right, right. Verse 33, their wine is the poison of dragons yep. and the cruel venom of hell. Hey, the poison of dragons, man. You know, and who's that main dragon spoken of in the scripture? That Roman Empire, man. 
Because this is nothing but Rome reloaded. Right. You see? Because Rome was just that heathen nation that pretty much, you know, had paganism perfected, man. That's why it was known as the pagan Roman Empire, man. And it fed into the lust of people. That's why people love Rome. Just like they love America, man. All right? People love, people travel here to do wickedness, man. You know? They got that saying, too, the, uh, when they wrong, do as the Romans do. Because it says so is the, 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 the ruler, so is the people, man. And that's why you got people that's anti-Messiah. Alright? If you try to bring, you can't go to a lot of places and bring up the scriptures and talk about righteousness. People are offended. Because Esau Edom is offended at righteousness, man. So people are offended at righteousness, man. You know? The reason why the nigga woman is so rebellious is because she has the spirit of Edomite. Look how, look how rebellious Esau is towards you. How about she mouth shot? And then you see that same energy with the with the woman against the Israelite man in a complete rebellion, man. You know? You got it, bro. First John 2. The 18. Alright. This first John 2 and 18. It says, little children, uh, it is the last time, and as ye have heard that Antichrist. Anti-Hamashiach shall come. Yep. Go ahead. Even now are there many anti-Hamashiachs. Even now are there many. Why? Because so is the ruler going to these elite bankers of Esau Edom. All right? Now you have many <clears throat> anti-Messiah. That's the vibration that's running the earth, man. You know, and America is the source of that anti-Messiah energy in the earth. And that's why pretty much America is going to be that great sacrifice during judgment, man. You know, just like Jericho was burnt down when we was coming to the land of Canaan, America, America gonna get the same uh, judgment, man. This go, this this whole city, this whole country gonna be a sacrifice until you howl by Shem Al Shah, man. This whole land mass, man. That's right. A little bit more. It says, whereby we know that it is the last time. Yep, we know it's the last time. This is it. The energy that's running the earth is letting us know that this is it. This is the pre-flood energy. This yep. is Sodom and Gomorrah energy. All right? And those were two tokens of mass destruction in the scriptures, man. When the Most High did mass judgment in the earth during the flood and during Sodom and Gomorrah. But see, now it's like it's combined. He's going to do a mass judgment in the earth, but it's going to be in the fashion of Sodom and Gomorrah with fire, man. Mm -hmm. You see? Yeah, you got it. Yeah. And this Proverbs 29 and 12. Yep. If a ruler hearken to lies, yep. all his servants are wicked. Hey, if a ruler hearken to lies, all his servants are wicked. Because Christmas, all these all right, wicked uh, holidays is pretty much just a lie continue. Yep. You just pass the lies down to the next generation. Alright? Easter Bunny. You know? Valentine. Yep. You see? Mother's Day. You're passing down lies to the next generation in, 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 in our culture we supposed to pass the truth down right. all right to generations man you know a brother get that in uh do run the four and one but you get yours uh, uh, uh all right you got this second interest two and eight you call for yo yo get there yo this second edge is two and eight won't be unto thee asher a uh, sir yo and the sure is going to assyria which America is likened unto Assyria as well. Go ahead. Thou that hidest the unrighteous in thee. Thou that hidest the unrighteous in thee. Which means what? They protect, all right, wickedness, man. That's why you got laws, what they call hate crime. Yep. All right? But the scriptures tell us to hate the evil. Yep. Yep. Hate yep. the yep. wicked. Yep. You see? But he has a law to say, no, we're going to protect the wicked. You can't say nothing against them. You can't rap about them. You can't joke about them. You can't make no memes about them. You know? Yeah. Go ahead. Oh, thou wicked people. Yep. Remember what I did unto Sodom and Gomorrah. Yeah, remember what I did to some Sodom and Gomorrah. And you got to think the most high, you know, he, he and Jake, man. So he speak, all right? 
Uh, you know Jake. Must forget. Yeah, you know Jake that uh, yeah. uh you must forgot when I did Tyrone. Yeah, yeah, she yeah, talking yeah, good yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. See Ty Tyrone I don't yeah, yeah. 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 Still, yeah. Like, still you see, up. You no, know, I don't I don't get that shit. Right. You know how Jake be. That's yeah. how the most sound like look, you you must forget about Sal Mango Moore. Right, right, right. You know, go ahead. Who's land live in cloud clouds of pitch yep. and heaps of ashes. Yep, and heaps of ashes. And this place is gonna be turned to ashes, man. Every, all the elements is gonna be melted, man. <laughs> all right? America, most high gonna turn America to uh, ashes, man. You see? This is gonna be the real liquidation. You know, they got a liquidation sale. Well, this is the liquidation of America, man. All right? Go ahead. Even so, also will I do unto them yep. that hear me not, said the Almighty Lord. Yeah, so that rebellious spirit, they that hear me not. That rebellious spirit of America is gonna be judged just as Sodom, man. You know? Yeah. Uh, uh, just a little book for the, uh, yeah. This is Colossians 2 and 8. Yeah. It said, but, but where least any man spoil you through philosophy yeah. and vain deceit yeah. after the tradition of men. Traditions of men. Mm. Mm. Alright? And like I say, our people have inherited lies after lies. The two fairy. People still tell their kids about the damn tooth fairy, man. Yeah. You know? There's nothing but just passing down lies, then they gonna tell their kids. Yeah. Alright, go ahead. After the rudiments of the world, yeah. and not after Hamashiach. Yeah, not after Yahweh Bashim al Alright? Because he had, see, the, the, the stories that we supposed to know coming up, supposed to be the stories of the scriptures, man. Alright? Hey. We, we got heroes in the scriptures that the children we were supposed to be raised knowing about, man. You know? But what they give us, N.W.A., <laughs> Tupac, all right? T.I., yeah. you know? Them the niggas they gave us for heroes, but we had heroes in the scriptures, man. And, not, and it wasn't about their possessions, it was about their integrity, all right? And it was about their commitment and dedication to you, how about Shema Yeah, their loyalty. Yeah, their loyalty, man, all right? But well, here it is, Esau got his praising wicked niggas because they got material things, man. You know? You got that uh the dude running for Yeah, I got it. I, uh, uh, this is Deuteronomy. You start it start at the top. This is Deuteronomy 4 and 1. Now therefore hearken, O Israel, unto the statues and unto the judgments which I will teach you. Yep. For to do them that ye may live. And go and possess the land which the Lord power of your fathers giveth you. Go ahead. You shall not add unto the word which I command you, neither shall you diminish out from, from it. Go ahead. That ye may keep the commandments of the Lord your power which I command you. Yep. Your eyes have seen what the Lord did because of. What is that? Baal, Baal Peor. Baal Peor. Yep. For all men that follow Baal Peor, the Lord thy power have destroyed them from among you. Yeah, so here it is. The Most High, he was giving us a standard to live by. See, this these, these scriptures is supposed to be our lifestyle, man. You know, not just something we teach. This our lifestyle. We're supposed to teach others. Now, jump to verse 9. The same way our people pass down these wicked traditions. See, we were supposed to keep... We we were supposed to see our parents keeping the Passover, yeah. all right, the Feast of Tabernacle, the Feast of Dedication, you see, all right, Hanukkah, what they call Kanak. Yeah. We're supposed to see, you know, uh, 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 our father, we're supposed to see our father keeping up with the Sabbath by the uh, new moon. Those are things that we're supposed to see, man, coming up. But what do we see, you know? Yeah. Christmas. Christmas. Easter egg hunt. Yep. All right, that long ass Easter speech at church yep. that you can never remember. Right, right, right. You yep. know? Go I got a quick one. Uh, yeah, I need to go finish that. Jump down real quick. Okay. Yeah. All right, Jump this is nine. verse 9, Deuteronomy 4 and 9. Yep. It says, Only take heed to thyself yep. and keep thy soul diligent. Yep. Least thou forget the things which thine eyes have seen. Go ahead. And least they depart from thy heart. All the days of thy life, mm -hmm. but but teach them thy sons and thy sons' sons. Teach them thy sons and thy sons' sons. We're supposed to inherit righteousness, man. Yeah, pass it down. Yeah. It's one thing to inherit wealth, but we're supposed to inherit righteousness, man. 
You see, it, we was cut off from that due to these vain traditions. But you how about Shimao Shah? He sparked it back up through the other Abba Bimis, man, through Elijah, man. All right, which uh, we'll get that Malachi that last scripture. Then you get yours, you had. Oh, okay. Yeah, get, get the other one you had. Oh, okay. Yeah. This is uh, Jeremiah 6 and 16. It says, Thus yeah. said the Lord, stand ye in the ways and see and ask for the old paths. Yep, ask for the old paths. All right, and we have them old paths now. Go ahead. It says, where is the good way yep. and walk therein? And walk therein, which means this is our lifestyle. When you go in the walk, that means that's a lifestyle, man. You see? So now we live a lifestyle of those old paths of righteousness according to our forefathers, man. Go ahead. And ye shall find rest for your souls, but they said we will not walk therein. Yeah, hey, we should find rest for your soul. Hey, because there's a peace that comes with being obedient, man. You know, whenever you know you're in tune with your how about Shema Shah, there's a peace that you have, man. Because see, this place finna get very chaotic, and we finna see a, pe a lot of people be unstable. All right, in this chaos, man. Done. You know, but with obedience, there comes a peace. There's a spirit of peace that the Lord puts on you, man. You know, what's that? We got that Malachi. Get the Malachi first. Yeah, then we got one. Yeah, Yeah, Malachi 4 and 5. This is, this is Malachi chapter 4 and verse 5. Because see, it was a time we was cut off. But then I say the Most High, he sparked their righteous spirit back in the earth. Man. This is Malachi 4 and 5. Behold, I will see you, <coughs> Elijah the prophet, yep. before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. And then Elijah was Elder Alba Bibbins, man. All right? Was the same with John the Baptist, but he came at this time, all right, to what? Start their righteous energy in the earth, man, to, to bring Yahweh Shai, to be the forerunner of the spirit of Yahweh Shai. He said uh, back then, John the Baptist was the forerunner for Yahweh Shai, physically walked the earth and had a ministry, all right, and was to be a sacrifice for the nation of Israel beginning with the elect. But this time, as Elder Abba Bivens, Elijah came back. All right, to be the forerunner of the spirit of Yahweh Shai that will be upon his men in the latter times, man. You see, go ahead. Verse 6, and he shall turn the heart of the fathers yep. to the children, yep. and the heart of the children to the fathers. Yep. Least I come and smite the earth with a curse. So we've been turned back to their righteous legacy, man. Like the brother said in Dallas, <laughs> the brother was talking about in Dallas, you have uh, brothers that have children that never celebrated Christmas their whole life, man. They six or seven years old, never celebrated the Christmas, never called on Jesus Christ. You know, they saluting brothers when they come up. Why? Because now their righteous legacy has been revamped in the earth. <laughs> you see, their righteous legacy is back, man. You know, and what's happening, Esau, Edom is seeing this and he's scrabbling to try to set up this new world order, man. He's trying to outrun the prophecy, man, you know. The only thing that's gonna happen, he gonna he gonna meet Yahweh Shai. You see, everything he's doing that he's rushing to do is lead him to Yahweh Shai, man. This the ultimate setup, man. You know, all paths leading to Yahweh Shai. Yep, yep. Hey, because <laughs> when, you, when you boxing, sometimes you throw that throw a punch out just right. so you can get them to move their head this way, so you can hit them with the punch you really want, man. Right. Yeah. But that's what's happening, man. Esau trying to move their head, but their right hand ain't gonna catch him, man. Straight setup. Yep. They're over they're uppercut. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. This is Psalms chapter 78 and verse 5. Yep. For he established a testimony in Jacob yep. and appointed a law in Israel, which he commanded our fathers that they should make them known to their children. Yep. That the generation to come might know them, yep. even the children which should be born who arise and declare them to their children. Yep, see, this is supposed to be an ongoing legacy. Righteousness is supposed to, was supposed to be passed down, man. Right. All right? But as I say, we was cut off. There was a great falling away, as the scriptures speak of, man. Yep. You know, but like like we just went into with Elijah, which is El Dalai Bibbins, we have been turned back, man, to that way. Go ahead. Verse 7, that they might set their hope in the Most High, and not forget the works of the Most High, yep. but keep His commandments. And not forget the works of the Most High and keep His commandments. Because now we understand we were those people that were delivered in ancient Egypt. Mm -hmm. You know? 
when you look at um, you then Ciroc, uh, two and ten. Two and ten. Yep, Ciroc two and ten. Yep. Because right. now this, this. we've been attached to that legacy, man. And what the Most High is going to do, He has did before. He never did it on this type of scale, but He has done it before, and we know He's able, man. Go ahead. This is Ciroc two and ten. Look at the generations of old yep. and see the ever ending trust in the Lord and what's confounded. Yep, so we look at the generation of old and we see how you how about Shemal Shah constantly came through, man. You know? Y'all say you go to ancient Egypt. You go to the time of the Maccabeans, man. Alright? Yeah, how about Shemal Shah would always come through, man. Daniel, the three Hebrew boys, yep. you know, Samson. You know, David, when he was fighting Goliath, you how about Shema Osha always intervene on behalf of the righteous, man. So we know now we've been attached to that legacy and we draw confidence, you know, from these stories, man. What's that on Romans 15 and 4? Bible Osha. I'm going to keep reading down on that. All right. It says, or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Did any abide in his fear and was forsaken, man? All right, he never forsook any of our forefathers when they needed him the most, those that was righteous, man. He always came through, man. You know, you look at Joshua and that generation, that obedient generation of Joshua. They conquered Jericho. Yep. All right, Joshua conquered 31 heathen kings on the way to uh, get the land of Canaan, man. man. He always showed up. That chariot was always, them chariots was all, see, Israel been had the Air Force, man. Yep. Esau late. What the Wright brothers in 1908, 04, yeah. some shit like that? <laughs> that nigga super late, man. He had cherries back in ancient Egypt. Right. You well, late, late, man. Well, damn propeller yeah, planes yeah. and shit. <laughs> 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 gotta get up, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, crazy. Man, get your sister head down. You see? And the only reason most I allowed you to get so advanced with them aircrafts, because that was the only way there was going to be a war in heaven. Which is in the Shemite. Yep. Yeah. Pretty much the most high raised you up to his level, man. All right. All right? He wants you in the air. You know, <laughs> thinking you got a chance. You see? <laughs> he threw that alley to himself. Yeah. Like, yeah. You know, yeah. That bit of well, I, yeah. Well, I off the glass. <laughs> yeah, I, all right. You got it. It says, uh, yeah. well, whom right. did he ever despise that call upon him? Yeah, so we understand that you how about Shema Shai? All right, it's going to be with the righteous of his people, man. You know? And that's why hope comes from. That's why we so bold out here, because the Lord put that spirit on us to be attached back to that righteous legacy, man. You know, we know what Yahweh Bashim al Shah is about to do in the earth. That's why we get excited about these prophecies, man. Yeah. You know? If you ain't excited about what's happening in the earth, you know, you ain't in the right spirit, man. That's right, bro. You see? Oh, oh we're going to go back to that. All right. Get that real <laughs> this is Romans chapter 15 and 4. Yep. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning. Yep, whatever things were written aforetime were written for our learning. Go ahead. That that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures. This is like let me read that one more time. Yeah. Were written for our learning that through patience yeah. and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. That might have hope. You know? So we read these things, we read these things, and these are what stories of hope, man. You know? Understanding that when all eyes was against our forefathers, what would happen, man? The Most High would intervene, man. Especially when our forefathers was what? In righteousness, man. You know, you had one angel to take out 185,000 Assyrians, man. One angel, man. And that was light work. You see? So these militaries of the earth don't stand no chance against our power, man. All right? You had, you had some. You got something, yeah. This Baruch 2, verse 30 through 33. For I knew that they would not hear me because it is a stiff necked people. Yep, go ahead. But in the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves. In the land of our captivity, we remember ourselves, man. And see, that, I say, that's where our confidence comes from, man. Remembering who we are, man. Remember that we are the sons of Yahweh Bashim al Shai, Yahshua Allah, man. You see? Yahweh Bashim al Shai. When you see troops movement, like I say, with Russia and the Ukraine and China, Taiwan, the uh, Iranians, the Israelis, the Most High is doing that for us, man. He's raising them nations up for us, man. 
because those things have to happen before we be delivered. So it's like the most high speeding up the time, man. You know, the more obedient the Israel gets, the, the elective Israel get, the most high gonna keep speeding this thing up, man, to get us out of here, man. You know? <clears throat> it's the book of Romans 8 and 24. For we are saved by hope, but hope that is seen is not hope. Yep, go ahead. But what a man see, what do he yet hope for? Yeah, so because if we seen that we had just as many, you know, uh, uh fighter jets and guns and the technology that Esau had, you know, if we see that we could match him militarily, then what we need to hope in, man. Right. But see, we hoping something we don't see, man. We 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 expected a heavenly military to show up out of nowhere. Yeah. All right, when this thing starts going down, man, we expect to eat because we don't have years' supplies of food. You know, we don't have underground bunkers. No, we expect a miracle, man. And it's something we haven't seen. We can't even explain to you how we gonna eat in the midst of a famine. Yeah. We can't explain to you how we gonna be protected in the midst of violence, man. But we just know it's gonna happen. You know, and that's the hope. And that's the hope in the unseen. You know? Yeah. In Jeremiah 16 and 33. Yeah. These things I have spoken unto you, that in me ye may have peace. Yep, yeah, go ahead. In the world you should have tribulation, but be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. Yep. Yeah. Be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. And that's speaking of who? You how was shot? He has overcome this society. Okay. All right, he was faithful unto death. Cause you gotta think he was just like we in the uh, uh, Rome 2.0. Yahweh Shah was in Rome. All right, when Rome was in its peak, Yahweh Shah was seeing things. It, it's not the same technology, but it was that same energy, man. Right. They was they was celebrating Saturnalia. All right, you had women half dressed. Yahweh Shah was seeing a lot of things, but see. He overcame that and finished the mission. And we have to overcome and finish the mission, man. Because the biggest fight is the fight against our own flesh, man. Uh -huh. All these enchantments Esau has out here, you know? And whatever your lust is, Satan turning up on that, man. Yeah. You know, he making it very <laughs> accessible to you now. Yeah. You know? And what we got to do, we got to flow with the Spirit because we got to pray, you know, to overcome. And, and, and you even gotta pray to be protected from yourself sometime, man. Because yep. we know this flesh gon this flesh will cut loose, man. Yep. You know? This flesh will go mayhem. <laughs> the flesh will be up three days. <laughs> Trying to get what it need, man. <laughs> you know, we got, yeah. Yeah, the flesh don't yeah, turn. Yeah, there, baby. Yeah, yeah. Come on. <laughs> flesh will have you on 240 by yourself at 3 o'clock in the morning, man. Yeah. Trying to get there, man. Trying to get there. You know? Got it, bro. All right, this is uh Psalms 91. What? You got it. Oh, man. <laughs> you might be going to get it. Yep. Go what ahead. you got, bro? I got Psalms 91, verse 14, 15, 16. I had, uh, I had 14, though. Yeah, the spirit. Yeah, you get it. You get it. All right. It says uh Psalms 91 and 14. Yep. Because he has set his love upon me, yep. therefore will I deliver him. Yep. I will set him on high yep. because he have known my name. I will set him on high because he have known my name. All right? See, we coming into the time where we're going to need a deliverance, man. Hey, the so-called white man is finna go crazy in the earth, man. Yeah, man. We haven't seen nothing yet, man. These little mandates and restrictions, he's finna turn up on another level. Because yeah. the Most High going to put his spirit on this man to spaz out in the earth, man. This man really wants to set up this new world order to Satan, man. Yep. He's in a rush to do it, you know? So we finna see, cause you even go to uh, uh, January. They they call it January after that Rome God of, of the new beginning, Janus. You have a Roman God called Janus, which goes into the new beginning. That's why he uh, puts that at the beginning of his year. And we know what this man wants going forward, man. He wants everybody with the juice. Yep. He wants people with their microchip. All right, and he wants to try to depopulate as many people as he can. Yep. So expect a lot of death going to 2022, man. Hey, he already telling you. He, yeah. he already telling you. Hey, the Omari uh, finna hit you niggas. Yeah. Uh, uh, with everything he got yep. coming this new year. And they said the uh, the Omari, the weakest one. 
Yeah. But then, why is he trying to lock things back down? Come on, man. But our people, they are sheepers. They don't realize these things, man. Right. You know, they don't realize that why is time speeding up? Why the days are short? Why, why the months feel like weeks and days? Right. And so on, man. Why? Because prophecy is being fulfilled. You know? Yep. But say, for the elect's sake, these the things are short, short, man. Yep. Everything is, this is coming to the elect, man. And I pray to y'all, but someone shot, he left that women in his passion, man. That's right, huh? Verse 15, Psalms 91 and 15, it says, He shall call upon me, and I and I will answer him. Yo, he gonna call upon, it's speaking of the elect. And see, we ain't being groomed to what? Call on our power, man. That's right. All right? You had this whole thing, you had this scoffer talking about, we don't know the name. We got the name, man. Yeah, so how about Shema Shah reserved his name for his people in these times, man? That's right. All right? I want to say the election praise his holy name. The election praise his holy name. The elect gonna call upon those names, man. And you have a lot of our people that are very unfamiliar with our power, man. You know? Go ahead. It says, I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. Yeah, I will be with him in trouble and deliver him and honor him. Hey, because it's gonna come a time when their standard gonna be lifted, man. You know? See, our people don't understand the times that's to come. They don't understand how bad it's about to be because they on this illusion of so-called normalcy, man. They on this illusion of safety, man. All right? They on this illusion that every that every year going to be like this, man, just with a mask on. You know? Hey, you're right. Safety. Yep. It's all it's known about pushing safety. But the scriptures tell us, but that should say peace and safety, so like destruction, man. Like it, it, what does it say? Through, uh, through peace, he should destroy many. Mm -hmm. You know? Because that's what Jake looked forward to a peace, a good Christmas year, a good right. holiday year, a yeah. good so called year. But that no one, calamities is coming, man. That, that's the, the scripture said, never trust their enemies, though. That's right. Go ahead. It says. With, with long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. That's it. Hey, right. get that, uh, yeah, get that. This is Jeremiah 15 and 11. Yep. The Lord, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah said, Verily it shall be well with thy remnant. It will be real with the remnant. See, this thing is about the elect of these people, man. You know? There's something else that you don't hear within Christianity is the elect. See, out of these people on the tribe, yeah. all right, there's an elect of those people whom the Lord is going to deliver out these calamities, man. Matter of fact, you in Jeremiah 15, jump up to one when you get to read that. Con, uh, finish it now. Yeah. Verily, I will cause the enemy to entreat thee well in the time of evil and in the time of affliction. Yeah, so the elect going to have favor in these times, man. You see, right now, mercy ain't no big thing because people still get to move around and do their regular routine. Right. But see, when that chaos really hit, mercy going to be very valuable, man. And yep. see, that's why we out here now to receive mercy, man. Right. You know, we out here plead to our power for mercy, man. <laughs> you know, in these times to come. Yep. Yeah, Jump, jumping up to verse yeah. 1. Then said the Lord, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, to me, Though Moses and Samuel stood before me, yet my mind could not be toward this people. Yeah, though Moses and Samuel stood before me, which those are what? Mediators amongst our people, man. You know, they were they was mediators between the, the Most High and the nation of Israel. So what the Most High is saying, that there's gonna be no mediator for our people who reject Yahweh Shah. Because oh. Yahweh Shah is that mediator now. Oh, you know, what's that Timothy? One mediator? Yeah. The most yeah. man, yeah. to find it. Read yeah. the front yeah, two, like yeah. I said, I think Ezekiel, Ezekiel there would say Noah, Job, you yep. know, yeah. Ezekiel 14. Yeah. Ezekiel 14, you know, yeah. they can say no one else, but they own righteousness, man. Right. Ain't be no meaning man. Because why this world went out? You see? That's why Scripture said you should have no cloak for your sins, man. Mm. The judgment come out here, man. Yep. You know? Hey, because the word done went out, man. You can't say, hey, hey, the Lord gonna have it to where Jake ain't gonna have no excuse. Jake the biggest uh, excuse giver it is on the planet, man. I didn't know, I, uh, 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 you know. He come with everything and every excuse in the book. No, you ain't gonna have no excuse, man. Hey, which side did you choose? <laughs> you chose the beast or your house shot, man? 
There ain't but two options, man. That's what this thing boiling down to, man. Y'all got it. Two options. Yep. Go ahead. So, uh, back in Jeremiah 15 and 1, yep. then said the Lord, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, to me, Though Moses and Samuel stood before me, yep. yet my mind could not be toward this people. He said, though Moses and Samuel stood before me. All right. Now, that was an account. You got that Timothy and one mediator? Brother got found there yet? I got it. You got to bring it out for me. This is 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 5. Yep. For there is one power and one mediator. Yep, one power, the heavenly father, your house, go ahead. Between the most high and men. Yep. That the man, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And that's Yahweh Shai. He's that mediator between the Most High and the nation of Israel. You see? And what's happening, you have a priest, a spiritual priesthood on the earth. The prophets, all right, they're out to go between between the rest of Israel and Yahweh Shai. You see, there's an order. There's the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, then the prophets, man. You know? Because their priesthood was opened up after Yahweh shot after the order of Melchizedek. Yep, yep. So this is an altar, all right, that, that that connects Israel on earth to Yahweh shot. Then Yahweh shot connected to the Father. Mm -hmm. See? This is mediated in the etymology, yep. mid 14th century, one who intervenes between two yep. parties, especially to seek to effect a reconciliation. A reconciliation. See, the reconciliation, reconcile. All right, re meaning back, con is wit, concile is favor. All right, back with favor, man. So, Yahweh Shah put us back with favor with the Most High, man, through his sacrifice. And now we have to be a living sacrifice, all right, within our stead, man. Yeah. You know? Oh, uh, yeah, because see, it said, though Moses. And Samuel stood before me. Now, now, let's get that account with Moses. You know, he intervened on, on behalf of Israel, man. 32 and 7. Yeah, you started at 7. Cause, so this is Deuteronomy, I mean, Exodus 32 and 7. Yep. And the Lord said unto Moses, Go get thee down, for thy people which thou broughtest out of the land of Egypt have, cor have corrupted themselves. Yep, so this is when Moses went to go get the law, you know, Went to go get the visions and the wisdom from Yahweh by Shema Shai. So at the end of it, Moshe told Moses to go back down and see what Jake was doing, man. Go ahead. Verse 8. They have turned aside quickly out of the way which I commanded them. Yep. They have made them a molten cow and have worshipped it and have sacrificed thereunto and said, These be thy gods. Yeah, so here it is. Moses was gone 40 days and... Jake had already went to idolatry, man. You know? Uh, hey, Jake, Jake is, is, is short-minded, man. You yeah. know? Go ahead. Short memories and all that, yeah. man. Jake forget. Little, Jake got a little attention span, man. That's why you seen that little chick? She come out here, you know? But, hey, the woman used to everybody stopping and seeing what she want. Yeah. You know? Get your ass out here, man. Yeah. Yeah. And she knows so yeah. 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 She, she ain't hear no queen of heaven coming out. Yeah. She ain't hear no niggas singing to her. Yeah. They have made a mountain calf and have worshipped it and yeah. have sacrificed thereunto. Yeah. And said, These be thy gods, O Israel, which have brought thee up out of the land of Egypt. And the Lord said unto Moses, I have seen this people, and behold, it is a stiff naked people. Yeah, so most I tell the Moses, this is a stiff neck people. All those miracles I've done, all those plays that they seen me jack up Egypt. I gave y'all front row seats while I was jacking Egypt up. Because when you go into the plays of ancient Egypt, it'll tell you how the Israel, uh, uh, how Israel dwelt in Gashan, and they were receiving the plays Egypt was receiving. So the Most I gave Jake front row seats to the destruction of Egypt, and the niggas still went into idolatry, man. All right. Go ahead. They saw the milk and everything. Yep. Go ahead. Verse 10. Now therefore let me alone that my that my wrath may wax hot against them yep. and that I may consume them and I will make of thee a great nation. Yep, so <laughs> most high like, get out the way. I'm finna kill all of <coughs> you. I'm, I'm gonna make you into a great nation. You see? He said, let my move out the way so my wrath can consume them. So the most high was getting ready to jack Israel up. Go ahead. 
and, and Moses uh, besought the Lord his power. And besought means to beg. Go ahead. And said, Lord, why doest thou wrath wax hot against thy people, which thou hast brought forth out of the land of Egypt, yep. with great power and with a mighty hand? Go ahead. Wherefore should the Egyptians speak and say, for mischief did he bring them out to slay them in the mountain and to consume them from the face of the earth. Yep, so Moses mediate. He like, look, if you just destroy all of them, it's gonna be like you delivered them for nothing. The heathen gonna make mockery like, oh, he just delivered them so he can kill them. You know? So Moses did what? He mediated, all right? And what happened? That pacified the wrath of Yahweh by Shema was shot. You know? But when you go to Jeremiah, uh, finish it off. It yep. says, "Turn from thy thy first wrath and repent of this evil against thy people." Yeah. So the Lord didn't do it. Yeah. All right, at that time, you know. But now, when you go to Jeremiah, this the energy that you have by Shema shot coming in this time. Go yeah, ahead. Seven. Uh, fifteen. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Back in fifteen, right? Yep. Yep. This is back in Jeremiah fifteen and one. Yep. Then said the Lord, "You have by Shema shot to me, though Moses and Samuel stood before me." Yet my mind could not be toward these people. So now he like, look, I don't care who stand before me. I'm going to do what I'm going to do to these people, man. My mind can't be towards these people, which means there's going to be no sympathy for the majority of our people, man. That's right. You know, go ahead. No more Cast yeah. them out no of my sight right. and let them go forth. Hey, cast them out of my sight and let them go forth. You see? And he's gonna go into detail, go ahead. Verse two, and it shall come to pass, if they say unto thee, whether shall we go forth? Then thou shalt tell them, thus saith the Lord, you have by shot, such as are for death to death. Such as for death to death, go ahead. And such are for sword to sword. Go ahead. And such are for famine to famine. Yep. And such as are for captivity to captivity. Yeah, so you're gonna have niggas getting shot up Niggas gonna be dying from, all right, the juice. Yep. All right? Niggas gonna be dying from uh, 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 starvation. starvation. You see? And they said captivity. Niggas gonna be going to the concentration camps. You see? Coming out of yeah, all this is prepared for Jake in this time, man. Right. The most high said, look, this is, if they ask you what are we going for, tell them. <laughs> You know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You got, you got missiles. Yeah, you got missiles. You know? Yeah. There's a nigga walking around the earth that's destined for a missile, man. man. All right? It's a Russian engineer. Goddamn to turn the boat just for a nigga. All right? In South Memphis, man. man. <laughs> Every boat he turned just yeah. for this nigga, man. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. yeah. Why wow, this nigga in the charger on the blood? You know, right. it's, a, it's a Russian chemist pouring up the right, yeah. goddamn it, it poster, yeah. goddamn it, yeah. for the warhead just for this nigga, man. Yeah. Yeah. You niggas believing in chemist. Yeah. You know, uh, 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 sweet, yeah. sweet Jesus. Sinella. <laughs> this nigga that took the juice. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Sinella. For his dear nigga. sweet wife. Oh, you know, I thought I never was gonna get right. Man, man. I, I thought you was a man. I, I had hope by my boy, man. man. Damn, Frankie, that's when Frankie should have came out. Right. Oh. You talking about Frankie? He should have came out right. at the he hospital. Came out on that that needle bitch. came out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's when Frankie should showed up, man. You got it, bro. Verse three in Jeremiah of uh, the fifteenth chapter, and I will appoint over them four kinds, saith the Lord. Yep. The sword to slay, yep. and the dog to tear. Dogs to tear. This ain't gonna be wild beasts getting down down here, man. No, most I gonna put the spirit on these wild beasts, man, to come out these woods, man. And see, well, people understand the most is not limited. All right, he can make animals multiply. All right, yeah. and just overrun a city, oh, man. Yeah. Make them where they can't die. You know, see, people don't understand that the the the, the power. That's angry at them right now, man. Go ahead. And the fowls of heaven yep. and the beasts of the earth yep. to devour and destroy. To devour and destroy, man. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be some horrible deaths, man. Uh, what that, uh, you had something? Right. Yeah, get that. Get this is what? 18 to 1. This is what? 39 and 9. Yep. Death and bloodshed, strife and sword, calamities, famine, tribulation, and the scourge. 
These things are created for the wicked. They are created for the wicked, beginning with Esau Edom, because he's the ruler of this society. He's the source of this wickedness. Okay. But everyone that's joined to him, these they going they gonna catch all right this same judgment. You know? Like Jake, Jake, Jake say, man, when he come back, man, I'm going to get the strap. Yeah. When I come back. <laughs> shooting everybody. Yeah. Remember he did say that <laughs> yeah. shit on uh white man, on that white, white man, man can't jump. jump. I'm going to the car, get my gun. I'm <laughs> killing <laughs> everybody. <laughs> hey, niggas stood around for a minute. It was like shit. Oh, man. I, nah, I'm running, man. Yeah. Lord hey, ain't playing. It's hey, like, nah, that's a beautiful point. Hey, because pretty much it's like there's like a little uh, there's like a young wild nigga that's robbing everybody in the city. <laughs> you know, he done kidnapped niggas, he done shot niggas. You know, he done ran off with niggas work. But then you get in the car with this nigga, man. Mm. All right? When they see that nigga cop, yeah. all right? They like, yeah, they gonna up. lift the car yeah. up, man. Yeah. Okay, yeah. 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 <laughs> there you go. Yeah. <laughs> and see, Jake is in, Jake is, Jake is riding with Esau, just riding around. Right, he saw the hottest nigga on earth. Man. <laughs> He saw a super hot boy. Right. Hey, the you, 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 you ride shotgun yeah. with this nigga. You ride with this nigga, he on, he on fire, man. He on fire. All yeah. right? So when that judgment come and you in the car with him, like you gonna, just yeah. Yeah. You <laughs> gonna get that work too. Hey, get your uh, so man. Yeah. Hey, 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 keep on going. Good, good, good. 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 This is, I'm gonna finish this. Uh, so what, 39, it's like, so what, 40 and 10. These things are created for the wicked, and for their sakes came the flood. For their sakes came the flood. All right, this time it's gonna come the missiles, man. Yep. The second death. Yeah, the second death. Cause this is the we are in the same mind frame before the flood. You know, yep. but you would get brother get Genesis six and five. You get that proverb. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, proverb um well, sixteen and uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. sixteen four. Sixteen and four. Uh, the, uh, what it say? Uh, hand, 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 but the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. Yep. And see, our people are joined hand in hand with Esau. Uh, all right. God bless y'all. Uh, all right, Come back, man. Come back. Come back, man. Oh, okay. Okay. Come back. All right. Okay. Come back. 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 I mean, it's on Esau Edom, but our people have joined themselves to this man. You have made yourself an alliance. When you go roll up your sleeve, you're making yourself an alliance. All right? Yahweh Bashim al Shai has intentions for Esau Edom, <laughs> what he wants to do to this man. But here it is, you're participating in this man's wickedness, man. Like you say, guilty by association. Because the Most High is showing you what this nigga is about. Yeah. All right? Joe Biden swearing in on the Bible. Then the next day, he said the eight-year-old can get a sex change, man. You see? So you see, our people had no cloak for their sin because everything's been out in the open, man. Hey, brothers expose this man every day. It's, 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 it's some video content coming out exposing this devil every day, man. But our people still ride shotgun with this man. All right? Get that, uh, that Genesis 6, six and 5. Yeah, okay. that, yeah, I think it's it. It's a Genesis 6 and 5. And Yahweh Shemah Shah saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth. Get that, uh, second, every 15. And that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. Yeah, so the Most High is looking at this generation before the flood like these people are wicked as hell. Mm -hmm. All they think about is some type of folly, man. You know, all they think about is some type of folly. All right, jump to all uh, verse 11. Yep. This is Genesis chapter 6, verse 11. Yep. And the earth was also corrupt before the Most High. Yep. And the earth was filled with violence. The earth was filled with violence. It was corrupt and it was filled with violence, man. All right, look at the culture, all right, of, of our people, man. It's violence. Yeah, here it is. You will have a crowd of, of 
dopes watching two kids fight and everybody record, man. Yep. You know? That's the culture of our people. Yeah. You see? A goddamn crate challenge. Yep. Uh, 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 what is it? You had a nigga, a 10 year old die, a blackout challenge or some shit? Yeah. You know? Uh, swallowing goddamn uh, cinnamon. cinnamon and shit. Yeah. yeah. About to kill this. Yeah. Stuff, you, you choke yourself till you pass out. See? Yeah. Dumb as hell, man. But that's the that's the generation that we are in now, man. Everybody's corrupt. Everybody's way of thinking is corrupt, man. You, nothing pure can go into it. You can't break down your Howard shot to the majority of our people. They too corrupt. Yep. They only think about some type of folly, man. Right. Some type of self pleasure. You know, instant gratification. Oh. This is Second yep, yep. Ezra chapter 15 and verse 4. Yeah, this is the time we in now. Go ahead. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Yeah, go ahead, because here it is, the word is going out, and we we giving our people, because see, this is how the most high has his hand stretched out towards his people through the prophets. This is the most high extending his hand from the spiritual realm. You know? But majority of our people gonna die in their unfaithfulness. Because they don't believe this narrative, man. They believe in the narrative of America gonna get back better, man. All right? But continuing on, man. All right? Go ahead. Verse 5. Behold, self the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world. Yep. The sword, famine, death, and destruction. So you see how those plagues always run together? The sword, the famine, death, and destruction. You see, they they run together. They like a click. Yeah, right. <laughs> you see, they come in the package, man. The four horses. Yeah, <laughs> you know, the the family. Horse. You know, the, the family horse. got got his little part. It's gonna sing. Yeah. You know, yeah. then that sword gonna come out with the verse, the right. rap verse. Right. Yeah. right. Like hey, a group. Like a tag team. Uh, right. Jake call it a gang gang. Yeah. 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 Gang. That, that's how it is, man. Yeah. Yeah. He plagues. He plagues. Good. It says verse six. For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth. Just like the time before the flood, man. All right. Go ahead. And it reads, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. Yeah, go ahead. Therefore saith the Lord, I will hold my tongue no more. It's touching their wickedness. And that's why the prophet's out. You know? Hey, because the most high is fed up with what's going on. So now he's speaking on it. Yeah. Now he's making it known that he has a problem with the condition of the earth, man. And the people that's running it, man. I got some too. Yeah, so I got one too. We're gonna read down there. This is Hosea 4 and 1. Yep. Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. Yep. For the Lord had a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. Yeah, the mm. Lord had a controversy, man. It's a problem in the earth, man. Yep. All right? It's a lot of confusion. It's a lot of misconception, you know? And it, just the way the earth is being ran in the energy, the most high, he's to the point where he gotta do something, man. Go ahead. He said, what they said, the Lord had a controversy with the inhabitants of the land yep. because there's no truth, no mercy, no knowledge of the most high in the land. Yeah, there is no truth. Alright. There is no mercy. There is no knowledge, man. No one is dealing with outside, outside of the hopeful lake. No one is dealing with the true truth of the Bible, man. You know, there's no, no mercy, man. Look how Jake act towards each other, man. Here it is. You can accidentally bump a nigga and die, man. Yeah, Ain't no mercy. You know, a nigga can think he's looking at you at the gas station. And it turned to an argument, and the argument turned to a shootout, man. Yep. Hey, hey, I, if I may add, it's crazy. Because, like, down there, where, uh, like, where I live, like, we say, we greet each other kind of sometimes, like, you know what I'm saying, what's up with it? You know what I'm saying? And I, I said that to Jake, you know what I'm saying, in Memphis, he thinking I'm trying to fight him. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. nah, I'm actually like, what's up? You know what I'm saying? Like, what's up with you? You know what I'm yeah. saying? He's like, shit, what's up with it? I'm yeah. like, nah, damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You come here. <laughs> Hey, cause, <laughs> yeah, but see, that goes to show you that what? There's no mercy. Because here it is, it can be a, a, a miscommunication, a misunderstanding, and Jake ready to take it there, man. Yeah. You know? Just like in the niggas that's in that gang shit. 
here it is, you might have somebody from Nebraska, you know, and he's shopping, you know, in LA, but then his car blew. You then, you know, nigga light him up. Cause he rode through the wrong neighborhood, like goddamn. Yeah. Niggas dying over a color. Niggas yep. die because of niggas is dying because of what my mama stayed there when I was born. Man. Something I ain't had no say so in. Yeah, no control. <laughs> yeah. So you mean I'm at war with you because where my mama lived when I was born. And what she can afford to live at yeah. time. Oh. So when I was born on 21st Street. Now I gotta grow up and inherit some beef with some niggas on 19th Street. Right. <laughs> Y'all born in this shit. Yeah. Born in this, shit. This, 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 is, this is no mercy. This is a generation of no mercy, man. That's yeah. right, bro. You know? And that's what Jay said, I'm a part of my environment, man. Yeah. Cause this shit is fucking corrupt, man. Yeah. You know, just like we were taking the brother uh, to the house, Columbia, you know, you know down in South Memphis. Shit, that's about to um, blast us, man. Uh, we can recognize the car. I'm like, God damn, man. man. I got the car and tell him, look. I'm going to die because you don't recognize right, the car. Right. <laughs> they going to shoot you up because you don't know who it is. But see, Jake only do that against Jake. Yep. All right? Because yeah, a, a nigga go to Germantown be on his best behavior. Mine. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, yeah. Don't put your pants on. Pants on. Start talking about it. See that all? Speed limit. Yeah. 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 Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. I didn't know you know how to talk like that, nigga. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> no, sir. I ain't got no good, yeah. sir. No good, sir. Yeah. But you on my mama porch with the chopper. Right. You know, like, goddamn. Right. That's what do, So this Jose yeah. for two. It said by swearing and lying and killing and stealing and committing adultery, adultery they break head. out in blood, touch the blood. They break out in blood, blood touch the blood. blood. Hey, because you look into it, especially like with rap beef, what's the, what's the number one thing niggas like to rap about? About adultery, especially yeah. a nigga that they beefing with. Yeah. You know, what uh, Dow say, uh, your got baby you, yeah, yeah, got her number on my phone, Ho Gotti. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. There's a, he got famous out that shit. Yeah. Like that's what put him to the top. Yeah. This nigga been trying to rap all these years. That, but, that, that yeah. right there. but when he made that song about the adultery, he shot to the top, man. Yeah. Yeah. And what happened? Blood touching blood because that whole thing, whether he dead or not, there's some niggas that really died behind that shit, though. Yeah. But what? It's like because adultery, stealing, blood touching blood, man. And most I got controversy with this society, but it begins with Esau Edom. Because yep. he created that culture for them niggas, man. Yep. Yep. That's why they say Psalm 7-11, the most is angry with the wicked every day, man. Right. Yep. His eyes is behold uh, is, is upon this sinful kingdom right now. Because people gotta understand street niggas, that's a that's a modern invention. Like right. that shit came about like in the 80s, like the crack era. Right. You know? Rick you didn't have Rollins. street niggas in, in, in 1930s, right. 1940s. There wasn't no street <laughs> niggas, man. That's a that's a new culture. All right, created by Esau, and niggas play into that shit, man. Go ahead. It said, therefore shall the land mourn, yep. and everyone that dwelleth therein shall languish. And everyone that dwelleth therein shall languish. We're gonna be miserable, man. All right? This is, this is a very miserable. Hey, this is a very miserable, you know, society, man. You know? Nigga, woman, bitter. All right? Jake deprived as hell. Thirsty as hell. You know? You got something? Oh. Who all got some? I got some. You got some too? All right, we're going back. All right, come. So, jumping back in 2nd Ezra, chapter 15, and verse 8. I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness. Yep, that's why the prophets out go here. Which they profanely commit. Yep. Neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Yeah, so we're going to it's finna come to a time when he's going to stop his madness. He's going to stop, all right, men trying to turn themselves into women. He's going to try to, he finna stop women, you know, trying to be, dominate, you know, the household. He's finna stop Esau Edom from polluting the earth, from polluting the minds of people. All right? He's finna bring it to a stop. Go ahead. Behold, the innocent and the righteous blood cry 
crap unto me, yep. that the souls of the just complain continually. And the souls of the just complain continually, man. All right, there's complaints about this society in the spiritual realm and on earth, man. Right. You know, all, all the Heavenly Father is hearing is complaints about this society, especially America, man. America name keep coming up, man, in the spiritual realm. Hmm. All right, go ahead. Verse 9, and therefore saith the Lord, I will surely avenge them and receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them. Yeah, see, now we're in the time of vengeance. See? Because as we, as, as we cry out, there's going to come a time when Yahweh by Shema is going to avenge, all right, his people, man, upon this place, man. Because Esau Edom has nothing but wickedness playing for the people on their tribe, especially those that are following after Yahweh by Shema Shah. You know? This society does nothing but vex us on a daily basis, but there's an avengeance that's coming for that, man. Go ahead. Verse 10. Behold, my people was led as a flock to the slaughter. Yep. I would not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt. Yeah, so we finna get out of here, man. The most high not gonna keep us here, man, just like Enoch. All right? That's the story of the elect, the story of Enoch being translated, you know? Matter of fact, get it real quick. Put that William Solomon 14. We're gonna go down. That's our story, Enoch. When Enoch goes to what? Kanak, which means what? Dedication. You got it. This is wisdom of Solomon 14. He pleased if Yahweh Bashim Al-Bashai and was beloved of him. Yeah, he is talking about Enoch. He said he pleased the Heavenly Father and was beloved of him. And this is pleasing. What we're doing now, this is pleasing, man. The way we maintain ourselves in our day-to-day, -day, this is pleasing. So it's going to come a time where, look, the most high looking, man, my, my son's trying to do the best that they can, and this place just keep getting worse. So I'm going to bring in the destruction. I'm going to get them out of there, man. You know? That's how the Heavenly Father is thinking, man. That's, that's how his mind is working. Yep. You know, go ahead. So they're living among sinners. Yep. He was translated. Hey, so living among sinners, he was translated. And that's what we want to be, man. <coughs> we want to be translated out this filth, man. That's right. All right? This is a filthy-ass society, man. You know? Oh, that was it. Keep reading. Nah, that was it. Okay. Got you okay. All right. This this just going into uh you know the generation the Lord uh, of the Lord's wrath. Yeah, yeah. The yep. yep. This is Jeremiah seven and twenty five. It yep. says, since the day that your fathers came forth out of the land of Egypt until this day, I have even sent unto you all my servants the prophets. Yep. And because he he always represents Egypt. Because Egypt was pretty much the birth of Israel as a nation. You know, that's when we multiplied and became a nation in Egypt. So he's going back to our origin when he delivered us, all right, from that captivity. Go ahead. Daily rising up and sending them. Yep. Yet they hearken not unto me, nor inclined the ear. But hardened their neck, they did worse than their fathers. They did worse than their father. And this, and this is... This is the worst generation of Israelites, man. Yep. This is the worst generation of Israelite man and woman to ever exist, man. You know, to the point where you vex just being around a nigga, man. You know? Yep. You, you look at a nigga and you get, you know, your, temp, your, your temperature get 101 degrees, man. Right. You looking at a nigga, man. <laughs> Way a nigga move, right. you know? What that nigga say? I hate the black around your lips. Around you your like lips. that nigga, man. Yeah. Oh, they'll burn it back. They'll yeah. burn it back. Yeah. 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 Jake, Jake, Jake with the, uh, got the, got the dreads and the yeah. braid, the shit red. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he got some kind of dye color, yeah. man. You just nigga like, sagging God, everywhere. Here it is. You, you, you work in the steel plant, you sagging. Right. You work around, you can trip and die, but this nigga sagging. You know? <laughs> Go ahead. Verse 27 says, Therefore thou shalt speak all these words unto them. Yep. But they will not hearken to thee. Thou shalt also call unto them, but they will not answer. Yep. So the Lord already said, look, you're going to call unto them, but they're not going to answer. 
like he said in Ezekiel. He said, I send you to a, 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 a stiff neck people. Yep. You know, they not going to hearken. Hell, they won't even listen to me. <laughs> you see? Yeah. Most I said, hell, they don't listen to you. They don't listen, listen to me. You know? So most I know the majority of these niggas don't stand a chance. That's why we don't feel no type of weight. We just here to do what's required of us, man. Go ahead. It says, but thou shalt say unto them, this is a nation that obeyeth not the voice of the Lord, their power, nor receiving correction. Hey, this is a nation, all right? This is a nation that obeyeth not the voice of their power because all these other nations, they was given over to serve idols. And they, they still say, serve the same idols that they've been serving, just under different names. You see? But Israel, this is the nation that was given, we just read earlier how we were supposed to teach our sons, sons, yep. all right, these commandments. But we the nation that fell away from our power. And see, a nigga got obedience, like like, like we said. Because niggas wear, when niggas wear the mask, yep. yeah. niggas when they got the juice, niggas celebrating these, hol uh, 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 these uh, holidays. Yep. So niggas are obedient, but that's not to this. They obey not their power. You know? Go ahead. Yeah, they it's obedient it. to a uh, license. Uh, yep. They are wise to the weeds. Like wise I to the weeds. It says, truth is perished and is cut off from their mouth. Yep, go ahead. Cut off thy hair on yeah. Jerusalem. And he said, truth is perished and cut off from their mouth because you will never hear a righteous conversation come from these niggas, man. <laughs> it's cut off. All niggas gonna talk about is sports and adultery, man. Yep. All right? And, 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 the, and the number one selling dope boy in the neighborhood now. You know? Go ahead. It says, verse 29, cut off thine hair, O Jerusalem, yep. and cast it away, and take up lamentation on high places. Yep. For the Lord have rejected and forsaken the generation of his wrath. So what is the most I saying? Y'all might well prepare the more. You might well yeah. cut your hair off now. Yeah. You might well put on sackcloth now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You might well prepare lamentation now. I think it said Jeremiah, it said teach your daughters uh, morning. You see, you might as well rehearse crying. <laughs> but that's what you finna be doing man. all right in this yeah. time of judgment, man. You know, since you didn't, since man. you obeyed not your power and you refused the correction, well, yeah. just start getting yourself ready to cry, man. Yeah. To mourn, to lament. Man. You see, because people don't understand, just like the most high, he can kill them. Everyone around you love and keep you alive, man. Yep. Just so you can feel that shit, man. Yep. Hey, like that Jake that came to camp, y'all remember? Uh, yeah, he yeah, was yeah, crying, yeah. he had tears in his eyes. Man, I lost my family, man. Tell me why the Lord do this. Yeah. He was hurt, bro. Shit brought that out. Man, yeah. Hey, he didn't get it, though. He yeah. didn't know. Yeah. Brother, brother told him, hey, <laughs> you know the times I'm out. Hey, <laughs> hey, nigga, turn it up. Turn it up. up, man. Stop all that crying now. <laughs> Talk about you won't hear none of that shit. Yeah, I'm rooting. I'm kind of yeah. feeling a soft spot for him. Oh, man. Jake did. I was like, hey, man, fuck it. But nigga don't feel a soft spot. <laughs> soft spot for you. How about you, man? Shot. Right. You see? You goddamn see goddamn devil, man. Goddamn demon, man. Goddamn kid. Yep. Yeah, See? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, keep, yeah, keep going. Uh, keep going. Yep. All right, verse 30. It says, For the children of Judah have done evil in my sight. Yes, go ahead. Said the Lord, They have set their abominations in the house, which is called by my name to pollute it. Yep. And they have built the high places to Tophet, yep. which is in the valley of Son of Hanun. Yep. To burn their son, to burn their sons and their daughters in fire, which Holy. I commanded them not. Yep. Neither came into <clears throat> my heart. So, what they say they celebrate Christmas for? The kids. The kids. Yep. So they're spiritually giving their kids over to the fire, man. You know? The Molech, man. To Baal. Yep. Well, that's all um, memoir and uh, serenities, man. Yep. You gotta go in the origin of this, man. Yep. The Lord said, my people do not consider. Yeah. Foolish, man. <laughs> Fuck them. 
Yep. Well, I say niggas gonna need niggas gonna cry way more. You know. Hey, I was reading over in Madagascar. They said they were going through a famine so bad. They say them kids, uh, uh, the kids and people over there were crying till they fainted, man. Damn. For them stomach pain, man. Till they fainted. Damn. They would cry till the injury was gone, man. And that's what's coming to America, man. <laughs> Most high gonna wear you niggas out, man. Damn. All right. Yeah. yeah. Pass out. Yeah. Niggas gonna be crying yeah, and faint. Damn. <laughs> You know? Hey, hey, that, a lot of people still think though that hey, hey, how about shit outside something to play with, man? Yep. But really they don't know how foul, man. They don't yeah. know you really don't know who you playing with. You don't know who you're dealing with. Because Christianity done portrayed the Lord to be this softy, yeah. you know, just like, you know, accept anything, take whatever. The Lord gonna forgive you for our, you know, whatever you do. Yeah, when you come think, as you are. Yeah, when you think of <laughs> Uh, 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 in Christianity, when you think of Jesus and God, man, you think of Santa Claus and uh, Joe Osteen. Right? <laughs> yeah. This soft ass speaking, yeah. you know? But you people in the rude awakening, man. But like I say, the most I ain't gonna care about you. Matter of fact, you know, get yours, and then get yours, and then we'll uh, get on um, Ezekiel 9 and 5. This is wisdom of Solomon, chapter 3. Verse 10, yep. but the ungodly shall be punished according to their own imaginations, Woo. which have neglected the righteous and forsaken the Lord. Hey, which have neglected the righteous, all right, which are the men that the Lord has raised up. They have neglected this word that's coming from those men, which is the words of Yahweh by Shemal Shai, which is the words of righteousness, and forsaken the Lord. So it's going to be a punishment, man. All right, go ahead. For whoso despise of wisdom and nurture, he is miserable. Yep. Their hope is vain. Yep. Their labels are unfruitful. Their hope is vain. Their labels are unfruitful, man. <laughs> Niggas still trying to drop mixtapes. Right. right. You know. <laughs> Niggas trying to get into the lead. All this shit going to be vain, man. You know. Niggas trying to, you know, start these great businesses. And, you know. Niggas think they're going to get rich off Bitcoin. Sell the t-shirts. Oh, yeah. T-shirts. Yep. You know. All that's going to be in vain, man. Because you finna get your ass punished, man. All right? Go ahead. And their works are unprofitable. Yeah, their works are unprofitable. Go ahead. And their wives are foolish. Woo! And their children are wicked. Woo! Damn. Damn. That's why most I did that nigga family like that, man. Because their wives are foolish and their children are wicked, man. You know? And it's going to get way worse than just the beginning. Damn. Yep. It's all in the beginning. Yep. You got it all, bro. Right in the This is Isaiah chapter 30, verse 1. Yep. Woe to the rebellious children, said the Lord, that take counsel, but not of me. Yep. And that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit. Hey, hey, because them taking that juice, they were them trying to cover with a covering, trying to protect their livelihood. You know? Try to protect their abilities to go out and go to restaurants. See, they, they covered with a covering when they took that juice, man. They covered with the covering of the enemy, man. Go ahead. That they may add sin to sin. Yep. That, that walk to go down into <laughs> Egypt and have not asked at my mouth. Yo, so they're adding sin to sin. The scripture tell you not to make no cuts in the flesh. So they made the cut in the flesh and they trust in man. That's a sin. Go ahead. To strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh yep. and to trust to trust them in the shadows of Egypt. Yep, so they comply, all right, to Egypt to strengthen themselves, man, to keep them checks coming in. All right? So our people are full, are full of compliance, man, to try to strengthen themselves, but they don't understand the judgment coming from on high. See, Esau is just an instrument. Yep. Of the Most High, yep. all right. It, it, it's it's your how about Shemal Shai that's bringing the judgment. Esau was just a uh, utility on the tool belt of judgment, man. He's not the judgment, you know. He's gonna play a part, but he's not the judgment. So our people, they fear the sword instead of the assassin, man. <laughs> all right. Esau could do nothing, all right. 
if the most high didn't lift him up going back to how he's lifted up well when you have a sword what you got you got to lift that sword up for it to be active and deadly and the most high has lifted this man up all right go ahead Hey, got a little bit more. Go ahead. Therefore, shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame in the trust of the shadow of Egypt, your confusion. Your confusion. See, people finna be confused as hell. You gonna wonder why you got all these, all right, uh, shots, all right, and you've been sick for two months. Something going on a year. Yeah. <laughs> you gonna wonder why, you know, your son is dead and he got, he got it. Your, your husband dead and he got it. Your co-workers dead and they got it. You're going to be confused, man. You're going to be confused about how high these prices finna go up on food and everything, man. Right. You're going right. to be confused when they tell you that we ain't using a dollar no more. Right. <laughs> dollar done. We're going to do something new. Man, what? Yeah. <laughs> Jay got yeah. all it, all, all, all them uh, boxes of uh, yeah. ones. You been you been stacking up, putting it, putting it up. Yeah. That shit ain't no good yeah. no more. Yeah. You can't shake your ass no more for a dollar. Man. Yeah. You gotta shake it for yeah. chill. Now, 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 yeah, now, now, now you gotta go in the strip club and swipe the car. <laughs> put, the, put the, yeah, put the car, yeah, use your hand on the bitch. <laughs> in order to get a lap dance, all right. Yeah, I gotta got touch ten, hands. You got ten minutes. <laughs> Damn. Touch that hands. shit crazy, bro. Yeah, these people finna be confused because we saw finna just overwhelm them with all this crazy shit. Right. You know? <laughs> you people ain't gonna understand when the draft come back. Man. Yeah, you know what was going <laughs> Women on. Women included. Yeah. Women included. Yeah. All right. TV, your hair going too. Get them eyelashes, yeah, the weed, yeah. all that shit. They gonna drop your head right in Ukraine. <laughs> all right. So you can do all that goddamn hollering and rolling your neck over there, man. Right. All right. See how the Russians respond to your ass, man. Right. <laughs> Oh, Ishmael, man, and, and, and Elam respond to your ass, yeah. man. Yeah. Ishmael, a wild man. Tell him what he gonna uh, do. I ain't doing all that, man. All right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, teacher, he take your ass in the back of that uh, in the, in the back of that goddamn beauty supply shop. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. <laughs> you know what time it is. Get to work. You got? It. I got one. Got all right. This is uh, this just backing you up on. You know, uh, 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 the Lord being a hammer. Matter of fact, I'm gonna just read in the NLT. You know what I'm saying? This is uh, Isaiah 10 and 15. It says, but can the axe boast greater power than the person who uses it? Can the axe boast <laughs> greater power than the person that's using it? And see, the most High just using Esau as, as a weapon. Yep. And see, Esau was boasting, all right, as if, He's doing it from within itself. All right. Now, if we, if we were walking down the street and you just seen a sword on the ground, all right, you wouldn't be scared of the sword. You'll right. walk by. It, yeah. All right. But now, if you seen a nigga, you know, he's just running through niggas. Right, right. You ain't gonna go the other way. Right, right, right. Yeah. You know. So Esau is just, a, it ain't the sword that you should be scared of, man. It's the one who's working it, man. Yeah. You know? The one who's wielding that motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> who's wielding that sword. That's the one you need to worry about. Yep. It says, is the saw greater than the person who saws? Woo. Can a rod strike unless a hand moves? It's not shy. Yep. And it's profitable for doctrine, yep. for reproof for correction yeah. and for instruction and in righteousness. So all scripture, all scripture is for what, man? Reproof, doctrine, instruction and in righteousness. Learning to do well. You see, the scriptures are here to teach men and women of the hopeful elect on how to do well, man. That's what this is about. Promoting a particular lifestyle and cleansing our mind from the filth of this society, man. All right, keep reading on there, Isaiah. This is Back at Isaiah chapter 1, verse 18. Come now and let us reason together. So the most high is like, look, let's reason together. Mm -hmm. All right? You were disobedient. I punished you. But now I'm ready to talk. I'm ready to negotiate again. All right? Go ahead. Come now and, and let us reason together, said the Lord. 
Though your sin be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. They shall be as white as snow. And that's through who? You how was shot? Go ahead. Though they be red like crimson, crimson, they shall be as wool. They shall be as wool. And that's through who? You how was shot? The sacrifice of that lamb. You know? Go ahead. Verse 19, if ye be willing and obedient, ye shall eat the goods of the land. If you be willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. And that's going back to what, man? Rulership, you know? Because right now, because see, rulership is about controlling the resources of the earth. That's rulership. When you can control the resources, that's rulership. Esau controls what? The resources. You see, that's why he's able to make these mandates and sanctions throughout the earth because he can make resources stop. That's why he's able to stop the food supply chain and break it down and let those ships just hang out because he controls those resources, them his ships. Right. You see, so it says either the good or the land. That means that obedience is going to lead to rulership. The Bible is always talking about rulership. But it's speaking about obedience first, man. Go ahead. Get, brother, get that wisdom of Solomon. Stay chapter one and one. But if ye refuse and rebel, ye shall be devoured with the sword, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. So it. if you refuse and rebel, you're gonna be devoured by the sword. Obedience, you're gonna be exalted to rulership. Rebellion, the most high gonna give you over to the sword. He gonna let Esau have his way with you, man. That's why you, you niggas is lined up getting the jab, man. That's because of your rebellion. You know? That's why you niggas are giving over to street culture. Because of rebellion. You see? Got it. the book of Sawat, 32, uh, 14. The book of Sawat, Sawat, 32 and 14. Whoso fear the Lord will receive his discipline, yep. and they that seek him early shall find favor. Hey, mm -hmm. he that fear the Lord will receive his discipline. You see, it's about receiving discipline, man. Everybody wants the benefits, but no one wants to receive the discipline, man. It's about the discipline first. All right? Go ahead. Is it on that was it. I'll get that into some wisdom of Solomon uh, 1 and 1. All right, this wisdom of Solomon 1 and one and one. Yep. It says, Love righteousness, ye that be judges of the earth. Love righteousness, ye that be judges of the earth. See, this is a book addressed to rulers, man. All right? That's why the Bible goes over a lot of people's head because a lot of people are not in tune with rulership. You see? Most High is grooming rulers, man. He's putting us in the mind frame to be rulers. You see, go ahead. Think of the Lord with a good heart. Yep. And in simplicity of heart, seek him. In simplicity of heart, seek him. You see? So the Lord say, uh, ye judges of the earth, love righteousness, man. But the judges of the earth now, the rulers now, they hate righteousness, man. And that's why they're finna get their judgment. You know? Uh, real quick, get with, since you love wisdom, Solomon 6, started at 17, can you get your book? This is uh, Wisdom of Solomon 6 and 17. It says, For the very true beginning of her is the desire of discipline. The desire of discipline. That's the beginning of her. And it's talking about wisdom. All right? And see, the Most High is giving us wisdom to rule. We're not just having wisdom so we can just walk around being, you know, this little guru. No, this for rulership. Go ahead. And the care of discipline is love. Yep, go ahead. Yeah. And love is the keeping of her laws, mm -hmm. and the giving heed into her laws is the assurance of incorruption. Incorruption, immortality. You see, this the the, 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 the pathway to immortality is righteousness. And see, what you have Esau Edom doing, he's trying to get there through wickedness, man. Right. Through his technology. Go ahead, keep reading. Uh, it says, and incorruption make us maketh us near unto the most high. Yep, go ahead. Therefore the desire of wisdom bring him to a kingdom. The desire of wisdom bring him to a kingdom. Rulership. You see? But it started with what? Discipline. 
Yeah. And then discipline, all right? Now you start to love, all right, righteousness, man. You know? And then righteousness brings us closer to our power. And then you have what? Rulership. Because the brother, real quick, look up that word, theocracy. Theocracy is T-H-E-O. Theocracy. Yeah. Vosashi. 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 Theocracy. Sashi. We said you got the recipe. Hold on. Damn. I got it. You got it. This is three. This is theocracy. Merry Christmas. In the etymology, yep. it means the form of government in which Yahweh is recognized as a supreme ruler. As a supreme mm. ruler. Read it again. This is theocracy in the etymology. Early 1737. Yep. Form of government in which Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai is recognized as supreme ruler. See that? This is what we're going back to. And when King David reigned, he reigned, all right, with the will. The most I said, King David is a man after my own heart. So he ruled the earth in righteousness, and he he recognized that the most high was the supreme ruler in the earth. And all these heathens that he conquered, they had to recognize that. You see? So we're coming back to a theocracy when the earth is going to realize that, that the most high is the one supreme ruler. And Yahweh Shai, his son, going to be his representation with the joint heirs of his power in the earth, man. Got it. His laws formed the statute book originally of the sacred, sacred to government of Israel. Ooh, you see that? You see that? <laughs> Theocracy. That's what we coming back to, but it begins with what? All right. It begins with this wisdom, with the discipline, the wisdom, then the rulership. Go ahead. Precept. Be uh, precept. <laughs> hey, get that. Then we're going to get to hey, hold it. Then. Okay. We got the This is Isaiah 9 and 6. Yep. For unto us a child is born, Ooh. unto us a son is given, yep. and the government should be upon his shoulder. That government, that theocracy. It's gonna be on the government of Yahweh Shot, I mean, on the shoulders of Yahweh Shot. Go ahead. His, his name should be called Wonderful, yep. Counselor, the Mighty Power, the Everlasting Father. And these are titles, because in the ancient world, when you was a ruler, they would give you all type of titles to explain, all right, the energy you coming in, man. Go ahead. The Prince of Peace. Yep. Of the increase of his government and peace, there should be no end. Yep. Go ahead. Upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom. To order it and to establish it, establish it with judgment and with justice from his forth, even forever, the zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform it. So the throne of David. Yeah. Alright? He's gonna come sit on the throne of David, which is what? Rep the, the throne of David represents the will of Yahweh by Shemal Shah. When you sit on the throne of David, you're supposed to execute the will. You're supposed to establish the earth in the law, statutes, and commandments. You see, that's what Yahweh Shai is coming to do. A righteous theocracy, man. Because right now, Esau has a theocracy of Satan. He's making Satan to rule in the earth. The, the understanding of Satan to rule in the earth. You know? <laughs> you got it, bro. It says, of uh, the secret total government of Israel before the rise of kings priestly or religious body wielding political or civil power. Yep. Say so, so it went to the priest as well. Alright, let's get that in um, Revelation 5 and 9. Hey, what does he say? Make a king some priests? Yeah, that's it. Okay. Revelation 5 and 9. Day, it's about the, the throne of David being reestablished in the earth, man, and Yahweh Shah being that eternal king on that throne, man. But you get that, you get that Revelation 5 and 9. Man. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. This is, yeah, yeah. yeah, well, you'll get that throne of David. Cause this is Luke, uh, Luke chapter 1 and 32. Yeah. He yeah. shall be great and shall be called the son of the highest. He's speaking of Yahweh Shai, who the world even called Jesus Christ. Go ahead. And the Lord, Yahweh power shall give him the throne of his father, David. Yep. And he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom, there shall be no end. And that's linking over what? Isaiah 9 and 7. All right, showing that Yahweh Shah is going to be the one to fulfill their prophecy, man. You know, you got it, bro. They, uh, Revelation 5 and 9. This is Revelation chapter 5, verse 9. And they sung a new song, saying, Thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof. For thou wast slain and hast redeemed us to the Most High by thy blood. Of every kindred and tongues and people and nations. So this is Yahweh Shai. You see, Yahweh Shai was able. What, what, what time? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, three. Yeah, we're three or four. Yeah. I'll read that again, Yahweh Shai. This is Revelation, chapter five, verse nine. Yep. And they sung a new song, saying. They are worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof. So, so how was Shah was able, all right, to open the seals through that sacrifice, man? You see? That's what we have to understand with Yahweh Shah is that when he came on the earth, he came to be that sacrifice just so he can unloose the knowledge. All right? So we would know the way to get back to that rulership. You see? Because he had finished his course. He finished everything he had to do. Now he's at the right hand. You know? But he opened the seals so we can get back there, man. Right. We got to finish our course now. We got to understand it, man. To know what to do, man. Go ahead. For thou was slain and has redeemed us to the most high by the, pop, by the blood out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation. Just talking about our people that were scattered. All right, and we've been redeemed by the blood, which means what? We was brought back to the Father, man. You know, through the sacrifice of Yahweh Shah, that blood redeemed us, man. Now we don't have the consequences of sin hanging over us. Because through that blood, we was redeemed through all the consequences that we would have had to face. That's grace. That's grace. You see, Yahweh Shah opened up a grace period. That was a beautiful point. Yahweh Shah opened up a grace period because without this grace period, we wouldn't even be able to live because we would be put to death for the sins we commit, man. But within that grace, what do we do? We get better. We don't get worse. Or we don't just shrug off the sacrifice of Yahweh Shah. We get better. We rehearse the righteous acts, man. Go ahead. Verse 10. It has made us unto our power kings and priests. And we shall reign on the earth. And we shall reign on the earth. All right? Going back to that theocracy, man. You know? The righteous rulership. And that's what's going to be established, a righteous rulership in the earth, man. You know? Wickedness has reigned, has run its course, man. Now it's time for the righteous to be set up. Right. You know? And we can all... Uh, I got a quick one. You get that one. This is, this is uh, Romans 5 and 10. It says, for, for if when we were enemies, we were reconciled to the Most High by the death of his son, much more being reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. We shall be saved by his life. Going back to reconciled to what? That blood. See, we was reconciled to be reserved, you know, Hey, we, we, we was on that blood covers us in this time this grace period where we can be reserved so he can come back and save us man yeah. because if we if he didn't open the seals and we didn't get the understanding you know of righteousness the understanding of prophecy the understanding of these instructions and wisdom and discipline we wouldn't be preserved for him to come back and deliver us man you see so Yahweh Shai he's protecting our minds from these enchantments man that's why we keep you gotta keep throwing them prayers up, man. Oh yeah. Yeah, you got it. Can I get uh, John 17, 25? Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, I'll shop with that ultimate prayer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is John 
17 and 25. O righteous Father, the world have not known thee, but I have known thee. Yep. And these have I known that thou hast sent me. Woo! And these are speaking of the elect, beginning with that 144,000. You know, go ahead. And I have declared unto them thy name. Yep. And when declaring that the love wherewith thou hast loved me may be in them yep. and I in them. Yep. So that's the how Shah prayed for us that he will that his spirit will be within us. And the spirit of the most high is within Yahweh Shah. <laughs> you see? So we have the Son and the Father within us, man. And that's protecting us from these enchantments, man. That's why like King David, he he hey, he he didn't take the Holy Spirit for granted. Yep. That's why he said, take not the Holy Spirit from me, man. Because that's what's reserving us, man. Yeah, no. Jump up to 14, God. This is John 17 and 14. Yep. I have given them thy word, and the word have hated them. Yep. And because they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. So you're not of the society anymore. Like right, going back to that precept you brought earlier, when I was a child, I spake as a child. When I came with man, I put out child of steam. See, we talking about rulership now, man. All right? We ain't talking about cars and clothes and shoes, you know? NBA 2K, we on something else, man. We talking about rulership now. We talking about seeing whole kingdoms come down, man. Yeah, domination, man. We are not of this world. The thing that these niggas live for don't incite us anymore, man. Right. We over a whole different cloth now, man. All right? Yep, right. go ahead. I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world, yep. but that thou shouldest keep them from the evil. That thou should keep us from the evil. So Yahweh Shah knew that we, we would have to finish our mission within this filthy society. So he prayed that we would be kept from the evil. And it begins with our mind protecting our mind from these wicked mindsets that's in the earth man these these rebellious mindsets that's in the earth man you know so we we the how shall I pray that we will be protected from the evils man you know and that and that prayer is still active today man amongst the elect you know yeah we can end on this second Ezra. so this is second Ezra chapter 4 and verse 28 yeah but as concerning the things whereof thou ask me yeah. I will tell thee for the evil is sown, but the destruction thereof is not yet come. Yeah, so the evil is sown from the garden, going back to the serpent. But see, the, the, the great destruction, all right, has not come. That's why the scriptures speak about what? That old serpent in Revelation. Because see, how Shai going to finally do away with this nigga, man? You know, he's going to go into captivity. Then he's going to eventually, all right, the nation of Israel is going to uh, 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 rid the earth of Edomites, man. You know, we're going to finish it this time. You see? Go ahead. Verse 29. If therefore that which is sown be not turned upside down, and if the place whereof the evil is sown pass not away, then cannot it come that is sown with good. Yeah, so we're looking for this place to be turned upside down, man. Right. All right, which means what? Really going to be right. It's really going to be right side up. Because everything backwards now. So when this place is turned upside down, it's really gonna be right side up. Yep. Hey, it say that in uh, Isaiah, the way of the wicked, the yep. Lord will turn it upside down. Yep. Some uh, no, roughly paraphrase. Well, surely you'll turn the things sure, upside surely down. Surely you'll turn the things upside down. Yep. yep. But we finna see this place get turned right side up. Yep. You see, because a lot of women gonna get in order in Jacob trouble. Yep. You see, they gonna they gonna snap into it overnight. Yep. It ain't gonna take <laughs> long, man. <laughs> you see. Niggas just gonna die, all right? Niggas ain't gonna last long. And then when, when Esau Edom is removed out of power, Yahweh Shah is gonna establish the earth in righteousness, man, and we're fighting to be there with him. Right. <laughs> you see? We wanna be a part of it, man. That's what we here for, you know? But it all starts with what? The discipline, you know, the love of discipline, you see? Then that, that creates wisdom. Then wisdom creates what? Closeness to our power, and then rulership. So most I got to step by step for us to get back to the glory. And Yahweh Shah died so we will have the understanding of it, man. You know? But that was it. Yeah,
Hey, so with that, Lord willing, this was an edifying lesson for the elect. Once again, we want to give our praise on and glory to Yahweh, 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 all right, double honors to the elders, apostles of GMS, salutations and blessings to the elect. Shalom. Shalom.